I got distracted by the music. I was just, just listening. I was just vibing. Can I say that? I feel like I've reached an age where I don't know anymore. I don't know if I can. I don't know. Can I say that? Vibing? Am I embarrassing? Possibly. Possibly embarrassing. Hi, it's me, Scott. I'm embarrassing. Um, I just want to do more puzzles. I have other things I should be doing. Many of them, like still cleaning this office. I cleaned the whole rest of the apartment and not this office. I did clean this one surface. I'm a big believer of a certain kind of cleaning strategy where you kind of address one surface at a time by just sticking everything else on another surface. So right now my desk looks like a nightmare, but this surface looks nice. So I can feel good about that. It's a, um, I don't know, it's kind of a modular approach where I'm like region by region addressing it. I want to do a Blob's puzzle. I was, we saw these yesterday. I was intimidated by them, still intimidated by them, but there's some new Yin Yang Sightline puzzles, which I think pretty fair to say they're my favorite series of puzzles in all of history. Any constructor, any, any, anything. Yin Yang Sightline puzzles are amazing. Because they are two overlapping constraints that have interesting properties just between yin yang puzzles and sightline puzzles. And then Blobs adds another constraint on top of that and it is fascinating every time. It's amazing every time. And so today I want to look, oh boy, look how fast it's going after 24 hours. Okay, let's address that. We're going to do this X sums one, which I am definitely not the best at X sums. And I see a couple problems here. So one is we probably want to make the whole board white. So those are a little more legible on stream. Okay. And then we mm, certainly want to deal with this background. So let's do this. Let's do this. What do we want the background to be? I don't know that we need I want to not worry about being thematic. Let's just, uh, browse, let's just browse some hot. These are hot puzzles. It's nice. I'm wary of these ones that, oh, look at that beautiful Christmas tree. It's very nice. A lot of warnings up. That's nice, but probably a little too uh, frenetic. Something blobby sounds good. Was that an IQ? Of course it was. Of course it was. It's insane what this person is able to accomplish with shaders. Uh, ooh, that's a good Christmas tree. <clears throat> it's pretty. Can I filter these so I don't get the ones that are, are warning me? A wet neural network. Gross. But kind of like it. This might be too... Uh, is this too much? I kind of like it. Okay, we'll, we'll go with it. If it's too distracting, we will address uh, address that at the appropriate time. So I really should work on the bot. I should work on so many things. I did do a like little docker. I need to talk to Binary about this. Let's see Binary for a minute. Um, a little docker sprucing up, seasonal spruce up. Came very close to getting docker fully working the way I want it to for Figaro, but there's one annoying problem. Okay, so here's the thing. So yin yang puzzles have certain things we care about. Like you can have no two by two region that is shaded. You need two kind of, you could have two colors and they need to each color needs to be fully orthogonally connected to itself, and you can't have in either color two by two regions. Those are the explicit rules. There are a number of implicit rules, like you can't have checkerboards because that will <clears throat> 
kind of subtly break the other rules. You can also only change color once, meaning there's two color boundaries on the perimeter. <clears throat> Again, kind of an implicit rule. It's not clearly stated here. Um, sight lines, meaning that these cages have a number um, that whichever of the two colors they are, it tells you how many other cells of that color you can see, that particular one can see, like looking uh, orthogonally. As usual, I'm sure I've explained that poorly. I will have to re-familiarize myself with what it means because every time I, you know, haven't done one of these for a while, so I, well, I think about it again. And then, excuse me, the tertiary constraint today are X sums, which I'm not very good at. I feel like I don't have a deep intuitive sense of X sums, but basically whatever digit we put, okay, clues outside the grid show the sum of the first X digits from that direction where X is the first of those digits. So what does that even mean? It means that if I put a one here, I'm summing up one digit and that digit equals one and that is not five. If I put a four here, it means I'm adding four digits together and those four digits equal a minimum of 10, which is also not five. If I put a three here, I have th I'm summing three digits and the minimum sum for three digits is uh, six, which is not good. If I put a two here, I'm saying take the sum of two digits that equal five, which means this has to be a two and this has to be a three, right? So this is a two and this is a three. So it's really weird to get digits immediately in a, I feel like in a yin yang sightline puzzle. I'm shocked, shocked by the whole thing. Um, and as we said, that means that this including itself is going to see three digits of its color could be any combination of these three, but it means that it's gonna be surrounded at least on two sides by whatever the opposite color is. Um, we don't know which sides those are, but that is a thing we know. <clears throat> are there any other tremendously obvious, uh, slightly worried I did this incorrectly, but I think it's right. We're going to take the first X digits, meaning the first whatever digit that's in here, and we're going to sum them together to equal this. And we've said it's not one because that would just be equal one. We said it's not four because that would be a minimum of 10. We said it's not three. And we couldn't just put a five here because that would be five digits and minimum sum of five digits. So once we're there, you know, once we're beyond five, so it kind of only sort of could have been one, two, three, or four. <clears throat> or. It couldn't have been, but you know what I mean? Like, that's almost all that was worth even entertaining. Um, some of these get pretty interesting just in terms of they're going to have some interplay. Like, the 31 is pretty interesting. Um, it's pretty interesting because... Uh, The biggest, how do I want to say this? We need some number of digits to sum to 31. So, and, and we know that all digits sum together equal 45. So we have basically, we have, we're gonna have like 14 unaccounted for. We don't know the composition of that. That could be two digits. Um, outside of this. So in other words, this could be a seven. But the thing it couldn't be, this couldn't be a nine because that would be all of these digits, right? It would also mean that this perimeter was fully shaded because it would see <clears throat> well, no, that's another Well, that's another topic, actually. That's not necessarily true, but th I think there will be an impact here um, with with what follows. Um, this can't be a nine because that would see 
the sum of nine digits, and that would be <clears throat> that just is 45, right? If we put an eight here, the minimum sum we could possibly have um, would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's 45 minus nine, so it would be 36. So that's that's not gonna work. Like that's that we, this also can't be an eight. So this I think could be a seven. <clears throat> Possibly. It gets a little interesting because if we're leaving out 14, well, no, 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 I'm sorry. We already know that five is not, we're, we're already excluding five because of this. I should have just noticed that immediately. Um, we're, this isn't seven because if this was seven, it would be these seven digits. And <clears throat> is that true? That would mean that these seven digits summed to 31, but there would only be five left over. So the total in this column would only be 36, which is not enough. So this is not seven or eight or nine. It's also not one or two or three or four. The most three digits could sum to is um, 24. The most four digits could sum to is 30, right? Because this would be 15. So four could only, it can't be four digits because that would only be 30. And we said it couldn't be seven. So I think this is a five or a six. I'm sure there's a smoother way to do this. Um, just to recap. It's not a nine, because if it was a nine, this would be 45. It's not an eight, because if it was eight, <clears throat> there'd only be two remaining here. So that'd be 43, and that's not the number. But there's a number of reasons, ways you can think about that. It's not seven, because if we had seven digits that summed to 31, and there were only these two digits remaining, which is a five, um, You're, we're, we, we've got trouble. Another way maybe to think of this is that the sum of this one and the sum of this one is 36. So there's going to be a remainder of nine, um, which could be, well, I think we've just said it couldn't be. Well, let's think about that actually. So we're saying this could be one, two, three, four, five. And for this to be five, um, these five digits equal, if we had these five digits, oops, it would be equal to 35, which is too much. So we'd have to go down a little bit. I mean, you could also just say like these four digits are 30 and we could put a one in there. Um, <clears throat> but that doesn't work actually, because we said we have to have a five, right? That would be the five digits, <clears throat> excuse me, six, seven, eight, nine, and one would not be valid because we're saying we want to include a five. So we need something like Excuse me. We need something like uh, 5 plus 2 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, because that would be 24. That would be 29. That would be 31. So, but that would require 2. So we couldn't have a 2. I guess we could have a 3. We can't have a 3. Interesting. I don't know if this is the right thing to be thinking about, but it's kind of interesting. Um, saying we definitely have a five here means we have to have four digits that sum to 26, but we can't use two or three. We're also saying that these digits uh, that these digits sum to nine. Hmm. Feels like there's something going on here. You know? 
Like, I feel like I want to say that I can't have a one in here. But maybe that's not true. Uh, to have a five in here, these digits have to sum to 26. I need four digits that sum to 26. And I can't have two and I can't have three. So I need two digits here that sum to nine. It means I have to have a nine in here, right? <laughs> if this is 31 and this is only five, I have a remainder of nine. I can't put a nine out here because it'd have to be plus zero. So for five to be here, there definitely has to be a nine. So that's 14. So then I need three digits that sum to 17. Three digits that sum to 17. Because I've said I have a nine. I don't know if this is the right thing to think about. I mean, this is already pretty restrictive, so it's, it's possible I should be thinking of this because it means there's definitely color change here. Which is pretty obvious anyway. The, the reason I say that is <clears throat> if you, um, if I make this side solid, remember we can only change color once, meaning there's two color boundaries. If I make this side solid, then all of these have at least nine in them and that's broken. And if I make this side solid, then all of these have at least nine in them. Um, so that's broken but I can only change color twice. So we're saying I definitely have a color change here. And we're saying I definitely have a color change here, which means these are all the same color, right? Excuse me, there's 100% a color change along here because otherwise these would all be nines. And there's 100% a color change along here because these would all be nines. That means these are all the same color. So this, we'll just say this is green. <clears throat> we definitely know that there's a color change that is going to happen at some point. So this is definitely gray. Um, this couldn't go all the way over here because we'd have the same problem. It would mean that three different digits C8 and only two digits would be, sorry, three different cages would see eight. And only two are allowed to see eight because that would be like eight and nine. So this is also gray. Um, it would be valid to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because this actually it can't. Because we've just said that this can't be more than, um, we can't have a seven here. And if I did one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In other words, trying to make this green, then this would see seven. And I've said I definitely can't have seven digits because that would be seven digits summing to 31 and these two digits sum to five. I hope I did this right. I'm slightly worried I did not. Um, so that means this is also gray. But this could be okay, because this could be, if this was six, this could be six, and this could be seven, eight, or nine, and that would be okay. Um, over here, we have a problem that if I tried to make this green, I have eight digits with three things looking at it, So, but I could only use eight or nine, so that's definitely great. We know we can't have two by twos, so that's definitely green. Um, it's pretty interesting. I guess this still could, at this moment, this still could be either green or gray, I guess, unless I make a choice here about which way that goes. That means we know this is gray on that. Well, okay, sorry, we, the inverse is also true, right? If I try to make this gray, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grays and four cages looking at it. And I could have at most two because I could have eight or nine. So this is definitely green, meaning that is definitely gray. This is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I try to get my gray over here, 
then I have seven. So this is definitely green. But I still think it's possible. That makes this number kind of interesting. Interesting. This, this digit has to be less than this digit and is at least three because it can't look down. Well, if it's green, I should say. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of always true, though. It's not more. This can't be six, right? If this was one, two, three, four, five, six, this would see six, and this is a maximum of six. It couldn't see less, so it can't be six. Um, could be five, one, two, three, four, five, and this one could see an extra, and it's at least three. So I think this is three, four, or five. I think. Um, anyway, I don't know that we quite finished, did we? One, two, three, four, five, six. We didn't finish this side. Um, <clears throat> trying to take the green up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, does work in this case because seven, eight, and nine we could choose from distributed between these two, but going this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight does not because we, we'd only have the option of putting, <clears throat> excuse me, eight or nine, but we have four cages to deal with. So that is not allowed. So this is definitely um, green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven would potentially be okay if it was like seven, eight, and nine, or something like that. This digit, this digit is less than this digit. This digit just has to see more than this does. Because whatever this, this is blocked this way, this isn't. This has at least two more. So this could be seven, this could be nine, this could be eight, something like that. Um, so, <clears throat> I feel like there's more thought that we could do here. These seem okay at the moment, or do we like try to think about some other X sums? Kind of want to think about others X sums. This is no, this is not five, because that would be one, two, three, four, five digits, and. Um, One plus two plus three plus four plus five is 15. That's too much. So this is a maximum of four, but it already sees at least two. So this is two, three, or four. Um, it couldn't be a two because then we would only have two digits summing to 13, right? Two digits, even if this was a nine, that would only be 11. So it's not a two. It's not a three, it could be a three. Because then you'd need two digits summing to 10. So it's a minimum of three, which means we need at least one more gray. I think. Um, if it's a three, these two digits sum to 10. And if it's a four, these two digits sum to nine. But that's there's quite a lot of flexibility there. This is not more than four. Um, and it unfortunately, it's not super constrained because it's not in a box. But it could only be, it's a maximum of four. So this is one, two, three, or four. Because... If it was literally one, two, three, four, it would equal 10. Um, 18, six digits, one plus two plus three plus four plus five is 21. So it's not six. So this is only one, two, three, four, five. It's not a three because we see a three and it's not a one. Well, a box can never be one, but also it already sees two. So it's not a one. Um, this could not be a two because then this digit would have to, uh, this would have to be a 16, so it's not two. So this sees a minimum of four, so that's one, two, green goes up two more. <clears throat> so this is only a four or a five. One, two, three, four, five. So we can't, this can't be green because if this was green, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, we'd have problems. So this is 
gray and now this digit sees four. So this is a four and this is green. And now this digit sees one, two, three, four, five. So that's good, so that's a five. There's no four here. Um, this digit sees more than four, I guess, <laughs> if we know that. Um, it's, it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, but the, um, could this be gray then? For this to be gray, that would be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if this was a nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If this was a nine, no, okay. Superficially that works. Like if I put a nine here and this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then this is a six, this is a nine, but then what's this digit? In fact, even ignoring the nine part, if I make this a six, if I make this one, two, three, four, five, six, this is maxed out, but this can't see any more. This sees six. So this can't be gray. So this is green. And it already sees four. That does put a cap on this, right? One, one, two, three, four, five. This can't, this already sees three, three and can't see more than five. There's a four in the box. So it either sees three or it sees five. This sees one, two, three, four, five, six, and it only can see as much as eight. So that's a six, um, six, seven, or eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, or eight, which would make that a five. <clears throat> seven, I think it actually can't be a seven because it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this would see a four and that would be wrong. So I don't think that can be a seven. So yeah, this is two digits. Sorry, this is three digits that equal um, three digits that equal nine, which is there's three ways to do that. <clears throat> if we don't have a four though, like one of the ways is two, three, four. Um, so it means I think there's a one in here. Um, the reason I say that is we have a four and we have four digits to sum to 13. So we have three digits that sum to nine. And the only way you can make nine without a one is two plus three plus four, and we can't have a four. So this is one and then two digits that there's a one in here. And then there'll be two digits that sum to eight that don't use one or four. So it's, it's five, three, four, six, two. It's gonna be five, three or six, two. But I don't know. Anyway, there's a one in here. It's not here. There's a one in here or here. This already sees four digits, and it's not a four or a five. So this needs to see um, <clears throat> one, two, three, four minimum, but it's not a four, it's not a five. So it's six, seven, eight, or nine. So at a minimum, we need to see one, two, three, four, whoops, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, or I do that right? Sorry. We see, I'm okay. Let's do that again. My apologies. This already sees four. One, two, three. Sorry, sees five. It already sees five. One, two, three, four, five. I said that wrong. It already sees five, but it's not a five. So it sees at least six. So this is at least six, seven, eight, or nine, right? Because it already. It already sees that. Um, something funny about this being six. Oh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. If this is six, then these are all green. Huh. Is that true? One, two, three, four, five, six is what this sees right now. And so if I put a six here, then these are all green. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this is also six. So I think this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I've made a mistake, but one, two, three, four, five. So that's the five. So this is going to be a six. It already sees one, two, three, four, five, six. This does not see five. This sees one, two, three, four, to sees four. Um, so we're gonna have six digits. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we do have a color change here. Um, that is not an eight. But we need six digits to sum to 31. And one of them is a six. Two, three, four, five, six. So ignoring even whatever is going on in here, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six digits summing to 31 plus two more digits summing to five. So that's 36. So we have nine remaining. So we just know this is a nine because there's just nothing left. Um, then that just tells us that this is just the remainder. Like it's the digits we haven't used yet. So it's one, four, five, seven, eight. One, four, five, seven, eight. They're not very useful pencil marks, but that's just what's left here. Um, we can see that none of these are ones because these are all in cages. So none of those can be ones because the digit can never just see itself or be isolated. So this is the one. So that makes these four, five, seven, eight, which that is not a one. Also, there's no two by twos, so that is gray. Um, probably missing some more two by twos. Yeah, that's not a two by two, so that's gray. This only sees, this has to see at least five and it only sees three, right? It sees one, two, three. So we need to go at least four or five right here. We need to at least make that gray. This only, this needs to see at least four and it only sees three. So we at least have to do that. No checkerboards allowed. So we have to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this could never be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. This could never be one, two, three, four, five, six. This could never be seven or eight. And one of these is definitely eight. One, two, three. Hang on. One, two, three, four. This can never be five. One, two, three, four. As soon as I do five, this becomes a six, and that would be unhappy. So there's no, f this is four. So there's no fours here. This already sees all its fours, so this is gray. This is trapped, so this has to come out. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, or six, seven on that one. Definitely, one of these is definitely eight. Probably should think a little more about some uh, of our X sums now. Like this one, we have a five. One, two, three, four, five digits summing to 18, and there's no three. So if we just try to sum the first five digits where there's no three, we have to take 15 minus three plus six, which is 18. Because one plus two plus three plus four plus five is 15, right? Well, we can't have three. So one plus two plus four plus five is only 12. And we only have one more digit. So that's 18. So this is just one, two, four, six. And the two is not here. So there's definitely a two in here, definitely an eight in here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
one, two, four, six. So that just leaves us with seven, eight, nine over here. Right, so these are now, let me turn on the sum thing, just so I'm not making terrible mistakes. Oops, that does indeed sum to 18. That does sum, sum to 31. It sums to five. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, cool, cool. This is a two or a three, and we're gonna end up with 10. If it was a two, this would be an eight. Is that okay with everybody? If it was a three, it'd be two digits that sum to seven. That didn't include a one or a three. So it'd be two, five. Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. This one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You already see your four, so you're happy. I know that. This sees three. Right. This number has to be bigger than this number by two, at least. Or maybe exactly. Yeah, this has to be exactly two larger than this. Um, so this could be one, two, three with four or five, right? If I put a, um, currently this sees three. Um, it could never see four because as soon as I put a four there, it would be broken. And it can only see as much as five. So that's three or five, I think. Do have to think about. I remember we got X sum going on over here. Um, that is three or five. Okay. Now what? I think I had good momentum there for a while. I'm just really cruising. Oh my gosh! LM Damasi, thanks for the raid. I'm just here talking to myself while I do this amazing puzzle by Blobs very slowly. How was your stream? Plenty. Welcome back. I knew this day would come, and I'm prepared. I'm not, actually. I'm not prepared at all. I feel like at one time I made a raid thing. I, nothing works anymore. The bot's broken. Look at this sad bot. It's just sitting here. Let me plugged in. Oh, nice. You're doing Sudoku puzzles or uh, Jigsaw puzzles or are you Jigsaw from the movie Saw and you were having like murder violence puzzle? Sudoku, that's fair. I, I typically recommend Sudoku over like murder torture puzzles just because there's less cleanup. No, don't. I, it's not... A sh there's no shame there. There's definitely no shame. I'm glad to have you back, Plenty. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the raid, LM Damasi. Is LM Logic Masters? Is your first name Logic and your middle name Masters? So, okay, I, if, if those of you who are joining, welcome. If you're not familiar with the Blobs series of Yin Yang Sightline puzzles, they're the best puzzles in the history of Sudoku. They're so good. And the, the general foundation is that there is a, there's already, it's already interesting to start with, like yin yang rules plus sightline rules, and then blobs adds another set of constraints on top, and they're all amazing. Every one of them. Your name is not Logic Master? Maybe you should consider a name change, because that's, that's, it'd be pretty cool if your name was Logic Master. It's not, in fact, maybe I will do that. If you don't, I might I might consider a switch. So um, Blobs has a, a big series of these. Um, all of them are great. In fact, even back to the original one before the secondary constraints. But what is so cool about them is after the first two, he starts adding new constraints, like a tertiary constraint on top of the yin yang sightline constraint. And they all have crazy interactions always. And they're always amazing. So I'm. This one is. Um, 
using Xsums, and already there's interesting, weird things going on with Xsums as relates to um, pressure from the Yin Yang Sightline rules. They're all so good. I don't, mm, okay. I, I'm gonna say that for like uh, disagreements between domestic partners, that logic is not always, logic is not always the thing that will win. And in fact, um, one might say that in a disagreement with a loved one, sometimes logic is only going to make things worse. Because sometimes it's an emotional, uh, <laughs> an emotional dispute. And then um, uh, logic might, in fact, I, I took a class in college called Passion and Reason about this very thing. Uh, logic does not always prevail in, in emotional matters. We read a book about it. Several, probably. Um, anyway, so what we uh, so we've made pretty pretty good progress on the yin yang portion because because of sightline rules, the way that sightline rules interact with yin yang rules, you get some really interesting kind of gimmies on the perimeter once you learn to spot them. So we have that. We've been making some inroads. We have some of our x sums in reasonably good shape. Um, and yeah, so that's where we are. And I, this puzzle being an XM puzzle does involve arithmetic and I'm on record at, at, at being terrible at arithmetic on stream. I think I'm generally okay at arithmetic, just, you know, out on the street, just living my life, just outside adding up numbers, things like that. No problem, but <clears throat> pardon me, as soon as I'm on stream, it's over, it's over. Um, I can see something very like super mildly interesting here, but I don't know that I care about it. I was just thinking about what it would take to make all of these gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I, unfortunately, I think that's possible because that would mean that this was a seven. No, it isn't. And it's for kind of a weird reason. So imagine I tried to make all of these gray. Just ima use your imagination. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, if I tried to make all of these gray, then I one of these digits, they'd all see a minimum of seven, right? Oh, maybe it does still work. Okay, well, I'll explain it anyway, because I, I think it is actually so possible, unfortunately. Um, one of these would have to be a seven, and the other two would have to be eight and nine. But as soon as, if this was a seven, if I try to make this a seven, then these have to be eight and nine and C seven, meaning they both have to go this way. And I would end up with a two by two, which is forbidden by the yin yang rules. So I can't do this, but what I'm not as sure about, well, no, I can't do this either because this only sees three. But can I do something ridiculous like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six? I can't. I don't think this can be seven. I don't know if anyone cares about that. But it seems not actually possible to put a seven here. If I put a seven, I can't do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because then both of these cages are broken. I can't do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because then this is eight and nine, and then I end up with a two by two. And at most I could do three from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's broken. So I don't think that can be a seven. I'm gonna, I don't, that was not a useful conclusion. Um, uh, it's just kind of a useful conclusion. So this is at least eight or nine. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, even if I did do this somehow, I still couldn't have my eight or nine. So I need to go at least one over here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need at least to take this. Um, again, I don't know how tremendously useful that is. If I made this gray, things get tricky again, though. Because if I make this gray, <clears throat> if I try to make this gray now, then it's going to be one, two, three, but I need eight here. Can I do that? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I guess this could only, if this is a three, if this is gray, this would have to be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this would be seven and eight, and only one of them would have to grow. So I think sort of annoyingly that that's okay. But another thing we can see is that because this is eight or nine, we could only possibly ever get well, no matter how you think about it, if this is eight or nine, this has to be gray, right? Because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even ignoring the three, we have to do this. So we have to do this to avoid the two by two, which is forbidden by the yin yang rules. And I, I, I feel certain there's more we can work on here. The thing that's, well, that's not a one. You can never have a one in a sightline box because it always counts itself and what it can see. And it sees at least one more than itself. So, so what? Puts a two up here. Well, I don't think anybody cares about that. I sure don't. Oops, that was the wrong button. Um, so two's here, two lives up there. I was just curious about two being in here, but maybe that's not impossible. Um, so this being four or six is kind of interesting because I'm not sure it could be, if it, if these are green, hmm. well, obviously that's not going to work because of two by twos. Similarly, one of these ha at least has to be gray to avoid the two by twos. But just thinking about like the scenarios in which this could be four or six, but you really could do, well, you couldn't if that was green. Um, thought I had a mistake for a second. Kind of intended to move back to the X sums. Just thinking about the two being in here somewhere. Well, okay, we know that this is not a two. Because if this was a two, that X sum would say that these two digits have to sum to 11 with a two, and that would require a nine. So that is not a two. And it's, I don't know if that's very interesting. Well, there's, there's at least a two in it. It's not four because that would have a, okay. What, what numbers go here? What, what numbers do we think are appropriate for this? this X sum. It's not a nine because there's a nine right there, but there's other reasons it's not a nine because nine would always sum to at least 45 and that'd be a bad time for that X sum. It's definitely not a one because if you have a one here, it's you're summing one digit of one and that's not 11. We said it's not a two because if this was a two, this would have to be a nine. So that's not okay. But even just being a four means you have four digits, including a nine. And even if those were one, two, three, you're, 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 you're already at 15. So anything bigger than four is going to have a nine in it and you're going to have a bad time. So I think this has to be a three. Does that seem true? It could be, it's somewhere in the range. It's no, uh, no greater than three, but also no less than three. Some people would just call that the number three. And we also know there's a two involved. So, um, for reasons that we've said. So we have five of this 11, which means we have a six. So this is um, two and six. So these should sum to 11, which they do. It's good. This is why I love these things. The way that the, like this kind of weird interplay of, of X sums and that's oh, good. It's good stuff. Real good stuff. Um, okay. So do we think, what do we think about this? We got a lot of digits in here. So we just have like leftover junk at the bottom. One, four, five, just junking up the place. That's not a four because of the four up here. That doesn't really help us. Extending the gray. Um, because it's at least, well, let's think about it. So, right, we've said this is eight or nine. If we, 
went up to, we'd have a bad time, right? Because then we would see, or that would that be okay, actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would still be okay. But if we went up and we hit here, well, we'd have that three, and we'd have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, looking at it from this direction, though, we have, well, okay, right. We talked about this, that if we just pretended this didn't exist, we know that this can't extend any further than this, right? Like this, um, we could get three here at most, one, two, three, at most if we make this gray, but we still need eight, right? So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight but then it's forced to be a nine. So are we just saying that this is always nine? Is it is it ever possible for this to be eight? I guess it... Well, it definitely goes up, I guess. Whatever we're saying is it goes up, right? Even if this is three, four, five, six. So these are always gray. Feels like there's a more astute conclusion there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can is that okay to just stop there? If we do that and we make that this eight, then one of these has to be nine and one of these has to be seven. But that seems okay. Either way, one of these is seven. One of these is always seven. Because you couldn't have both of them extend out. So there's definitely seven on one of those. Extending this further. Oh no. One of these will definitely be gray. The other one will be green. I don't know. I don't know. Jojo81 Gaming, how's it going? By the way, for anyone who hasn't uh, joined my channel before, you can, if you're on desktop, you can click the screen to throw tomatoes to draw my attention. I totally am fine with like telling me where to look. Like if I'm just missing something obvious, just tell me like, hey, look in column eight or look in this box or whatever. Or really my preference is just like throw tomatoes, especially if I've made some grievous mistake, um, which I am wont to do. Is he working right now, by the way? Did I, did I just tell you to use heat and heat is broken? That would be bad. Is heat broken right now? Refresh heat. Somebody should probably work on it. Okay, here come thousands of tomatoes. Okay, I just need to refresh heat. Okay, thank you for the millions of tomatoes. <clears throat> okay, yes, as, um, as LM, the logic master points out, these, these, these are always grow. I don't know that I know just immediately which of these I think is going to extend. The other is going to be eight or nine, right? Like these are, this is definitely from seven, eight or nine. And one of them is definitely seven. So this is effectively a seven, eight, nine triple. I don't know if we really care about that, but it's a, it's a thing we could talk about. Um, we haven't talked about these other X sums. Kind of like maximum and minimum boundaries of this. We know we can't have a six here because as soon as we have a six here, our minimum, let's just put some numbers in. I'm not even going to put beyond a six. If we put a six here, we have these six digits summing and one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six is 21. So that's no good. So six is not going to work out for us. We know we can't have four because it's just, it's right there in our face. Um, we know we can't have one because if we put a one, it's just going to be one. We know that in Sudoku, no two digits sum to 18. So if we put a two here, then this other digit, well, it has to be a 16 and that's nonsensical. And we have a three in the column. So there's no three here. So this is five digits and it has a four and a five in it. So we've already accounted for nine. Oops. So then we're gonna need three digits that sum to nine. There's no five here, by the way. Um, 
we need three digits that sum to nine that don't use four and five. So that means we don't have two, three, four. Um, two, three, four won't work because we can't use the four. So we have to have a one and then two digits that sum to eight without using a one. So not seven, one. So it'll be five, three or six, two. Um, if it was the... one, you know, the six would end up in here. Oh, it's not five, I'm sorry. It would only be six, two. Is it just one, six, two? Is that what I'm saying? Sorry, three digits that sum to nine. It's definitely not two, four, five. So it definitely has a one, right? So now we have 10, so we need two digits that sum to eight. So we have to make eight and two digits. It's not seven, one, because we're using the one. It's not five, three, because we're using the five. It is six, two, so it's one, six, two. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. Was that true? Feels true. How else are we gonna make this sum to 18? I don't know. Thank you, Flinty. Um, we also know that this is not a one because it's in a cage and that would mean it only saw one cell, which is not possible. It sees at least two and you can never have a one anyway because that would be isolated and that would break the yin yang rules. So that's not a one and it's not a six. So that is just the two. And so we get a one six pair here. Um, we knew something about a one over here as well. Yeah, we had a similar thing we were talking about over here, right? <clears throat> because we have three digits that have to sum to nine. So one of them is definitely a one, and then it's two digits that will sum to eight. But I don't know that we quite know that yet, right? Six, two, or five, three. I think you could still do five, three if you had the five here. I'm not totally certain of that. Anyway, this two already sees both of its fronts. So this two is finished. So it gets blocked off. Um, that felt good. I was excited about that. So we've kind of looked at most of the X sums now. We haven't looked at this X sum, which is not, what is this digit? Let's talk about it. What do we think this digit is? We already know it's not, um, we know it's not six because that would be uh, 21. We know it's not five because that'd be a minimum of 15. We know it's not one because it would just be one. We know it's not two, one because there's a two in the row, but also that would mean this digit is two. So it's either three or four digits summing to 12. <clears throat> so three digits summing to 12 could this ever be a six? If it's four digits summing to 12, and I think I'm saying this can never be a six. I don't know how much this matters, but if this was a three, we'd have these three digits. And if we tried to have a six in one of them, we'd have three plus six plus another three equals 12, and that's not good. If we tried to have four digits here, we'd have six plus four is 10 and then two digits would have to sum to two. So I don't think we can ever have a six there. I don't know that that matters to anyone, but I think it's possibly maybe potentially, potentially true. Um, it feels like we should be able to think about this with our brains. But I also sort of want to think about this a little more. Um, if it's a three, then these two digits sum to nine, and we don't have a five, and we don't have a three. But that's not that big of a deal. I saw tomatoes. What are those tomatoes doing? Am I missing something really obvious over here? We think five is down here. We think one is down here. Oh, four is down here. Good eye. There's a four. Four lives down here in this box. It's not up here. So that's, this definitely is three. It's good because it's what I want it to be. So then we have two digits that sum to nine. So I guess we could just run through the options and maybe something will become exciting and apparent. We have two digits that sum to nine. If this is a one, this is an eight. If this is a two, this is a seven. And this is a four, this is a five. So it's definitely not a five. Oops because there's a five right there. 
So this can't be four. Is that what we're saying? So this is seven or eight. Again, I don't know if that matters to anyone. Anyone at all. Does anyone care about that seven or eight? Not me. Um, but at least let's just think about this X. Um, this one's just not a, a super useful one, at least right at this moment, just because it's not crossing any cages. I guess it could be a little interesting in terms of uh, in terms of what is available to this cage, because we've ruled some things out down here, which is a little bit interesting. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I have to step away for one moment. I'll be right back. We will continue. Excuse me, please. I'm back. Forgive me. Camera's wrong. Push this button. Switch here. It's all good. Everything's good. I accidentally ran over the headphones, unplugged them. Everything's falling apart. It's fine. It's all fine. So, okay. What were we, we were talking about something. We did have a kind of 789 triple in here. At least we think we do. Which was a little bit cool. Oh, yeah. This too. We blocked off one side and it did, just didn't block the other side. So we need to block this side off as well. Which is going to limit what this friend can see. This number is going to have to be less than this number. This little run of cages is a little, a little bit bananas. In fact, I want to think about that for a little bit, just in terms of like where ones can go, because I haven't really thought very hard about that. Ones can't go in cages. It's a little hard for twos to go in cages. It's very hard for nines to go in cages. Not super hard. Obviously, ones are just impossible. Um, Twos have some difficulty. Nines have some difficulty. But, you know. You know what I mean. I'm just thinking about like where one goes here. But it has some options, annoyingly. So maybe that was not a useful thing to think about. We know one is here. Oh, that's okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. It was a little bit interesting. That means that one is spoken for. How did we get a one six pair in here? Oh, because of this. 18. Interesting. So um, we know a couple things, I guess. One is we know that this is an eight because where else are we going to put an eight? And then we know that we need a three, seven, nine here. This is not a three. Um, and we know then one can't go in here. So the one in this box is going to be here, which means this is not a one, which is just very mildly interesting. Just super slightly, just a, just a tad interesting. Um, I 
was trying to decide if that 379 was cool at all. It's not that cool. Puts a two in here somewhere, which no one cares about. Puts a definitely puts a five in here, which is it kind of it just feels like there's gonna be a five in there, but I can't prove it to you. I just have a feeling, you know? Got one of those feelings. Why don't I know know about fives? Know about twos. I guess I know about fours already. Okay, maybe that's not the most fruitful thinking. Um Ooh, oh man. Okay. These digits. Is there a five in here? In these four digits, if there was a five, that'd be nine, and then we would need two digits to sum to four. which could only be one and three, right? Because that's our, yeah, there'd be one, three, five, which is one of our options for this. One of our options for this is one, three, five. And one of our options for this is one, six, two. So th these are either one, three, five, or they're one, six, two, right? This is not three, five because it sees those digits. That's not five. That's not two or six because it sees those, but that's all that can be in here. And we get kind of a crazy, eh, not quite. We get our nine over here. We get our eight over here. And we know there's a, somehow we know there's a two over here. How did I know that? Wait, why did I say there was a two here? What was I thinking? What? Oh, cause there's, wait a second. What was I talking about? How did I put two here? What was I? What? What? I don't think I knew that. I think that was not a true statement. I don't think I knew there was a two there. I think I meant to put an eight there. And then I put a two there. That was a weird thing to do. Why would I do that? Eight and nine are over here. Two's not over there. Why would I do that? Weird. How come no one told me not to do that? Okay, I apologize. Seven, eight, and nine. We know there's a seven, eight, nine triple here, so eight and nine are not there. So does that make this an eight, nine pair? The only place eight and nine can appear in this row is here. Because these are not 8 and 9, and 8 and 9 can't go into this sum to 13. But we have a 7, 8, 9 triple here. So I think this makes us an 8, 9 pair. This is probably not really the thing I'm supposed to be thinking about, but it's fun. <clears throat> so we've got a lot of digits in this box. So we need 2 and 7 and 3. Two, three and seven and that's not the three okay i'm just getting entertained by nonsense now i should probably actually think about the clues we have presented to us so we feel good about this 11. i think we feel good about this 18. this 13 is kind of what we were discussing but it's like the two or three or the six no. Ah, okay, there's definitely a six over here. Right? Six and six. So there's definitely a six in here. That means that this is um, one, six, two. One, six, two, summing together to make 13. And that makes that the one, so there's no one here. That's a two, six pair. There's no two here. We have a three, five, seven, triple there. So this now sums to 13. That's good. Two, six pair. We have a three, seven, nine, triple. So this is just a one. Um, two, three, seven, nine. 
And one of these digits, I'm just, you're not a two. One of these digits is definitely a nine. Okay, I'm doing Sudoku instead of doing um, the interesting yin yang sightline. I apologize. But it just felt like stuff was going on. Um, the eight is definitely in there. So that feels good. This one feels like we still have some ambiguity around. This one we haven't even really considered. We know that if we put a two here, then this has to be an eight. And that is maybe okay. And if we put a three here, then these two digits have to sum to seven without using one or three. So they have to be five, two. And they would have to go five here, All right, let's bring that beat two down. here. There is definitely a five here. Hmm. Our 18 sum is okay. Mr. Scary Muffin, how's it going? We're doing one of my favorite series of puzzles from one of my favorite constructors. The only thing that's not good about this puzzle and that I'm a little disappointed out about is that I like Blobs has this new. The only thing I'm disappointed with is that um, Blobs now is putting his name on all of his puzzles, which I love. <laughs> that, that, that just every one of his puzzles should just say Blobs in huge letters. Um, but, you know, you can't have everything. So. Aside from the fact that it doesn't say blobs in huge letters, I still think it's pretty good. It's still a pretty good puzzle. I was just getting distracted by X sums land, I guess. We hadn't really thought about this X sum. We said if this is a two, this has to be an eight. We said if this is a three, I think this has to be two plus five because it could not be one plus six and it could not be three plus four. So I think that forces this to be a five two pair. So this is pretty limited. This is either an eight or, so if this is a two, this is definitely an eight. And if this is a three, this is definitely a five two pair and this is definitely a two. So that is definitely two or eight, I think. That's what I think. Feels like we are missing something. Like the number four. Presumably four has to go in here. The four has to go here. Is that what we're... I don't know if I care about that, but it, it seems... Seems to be true. <clears throat> okay, so that's what we get from that X sum. So I feel like we have taken all of our X sums to... Kind of as far as we can take them at the moment. We know one of these is going to extend up. I don't think we know which one. <laughs> okay. Are we? I. It's that. I feel like that. Actually, now that you mention that, it feels like that's an underutilized like leet speak. Um, I don't know if that counts as leet speak because boobs is just like upside down calculator third grade kind of thing. Um, eight one zero oh, eight two as blobs. Perhaps a little bit of a stretch, but I kind of like it. I like it. Yeah, how come no one is doing that? How come, what could we, what, I guess you have a hard time writing here. Are fours going to be A's? <clears throat> okay, so um, we should probably do this puzzle that I'm staring at. So I feel like the X sums, we've sort of at least momentarily exhausted their usefulness. I don't know if anyone cares about that. We probably need to be thinking about either I'm missing very obvious uh, yin yang problems, which is a is a thing I love to do, is just miss things that are very obvious, or it seems like more likely we need to do some more sightline thinking. This digit is a real thorn in my side. It's um one of these is definitely a five. 
The other is a three or seven, and its friend is over here. This, one, two, three, four, five, six. It could be seven, it couldn't be eight. It could be nine. Um, this is four or six. Ooh, interesting. A chess letter. Were there constraints based, like, on the individual chess letters? Like, were there... I like that idea. I want to, I'm waiting for emoji Sudoku, actually. Why haven't we gotten, we sort of have accidentally, like in some very colorful fruit basket kind of Sudokus, but I want one that I solve with strawberries. Um, okay, sorry, we, this three is really a pain in the butt. I don't know what to think about it. If it is gray, it, then this is fully surrounded by green. If it is green, it has to expand one more place, but that could be here or here. And if that was true, this would be gray. Hmm. I was just trying to see if there was something that was true in both cases, and I'm unfortunately not really seeing it. Um, <clears throat> That sounds interesting. I'm not very, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the thing I'm about to say. I'm not very good at chess puzzles. When we had to do that, um, <laughs> in fact, when we were trying to play the password game a few weeks ago and you had to like put the solution to something in chess notation, I could see what the move was, but couldn't even notate it properly. I spent much more time just trying to properly notate it than figure out what the actual chess puzzle solution was. What am I missing here? Um, two or six. One, two, three, four, five. This always is green. Is that what we want to say? Because if this is a two, it can't go this way because it's going to instantly connect to a five. If it's a six, one, two, three, four, five, this would be a five, this would be a seven, and this would be one, two, three, four, five would have to grow. So this is always green, I think. Oh, are you a chess tournament person? I have mixed, I don't know. I don't even want to get into it, I guess. I, I just have mixed opinions on chess in general. There was a period where I tried to cultivate an interest in it, and then I decided to sort of deliberately be not interested in it. I still sometimes it like, I guess I don't, it's a weird, maybe this is weird to say, but maybe it's a normal thing. I don't have a lot of it. I have a lot of interest in chess in sort of like, you know, like the patterns and problem solving of it. I'm just not a very competitive person and I don't enjoy the competitive part of it. So there's like, there's an, there's sort of this like puzzle aspect of it that I find interesting, but I don't find the competitive part of it um, appealing among other things, but that's probably the biggest, the biggest statement I can make. Um, Okay, I feel like we're moving very slowly and I'm just getting distracted. So this digit, what could this digit be? If this digit was green, then this would see four. So this would have to be six, but as soon as we put this here, it would be too big. So I don't think this digit can be green. I think this digit has to be gray. And I don't know that that matters very much. No, you're not. A, oh, please don't. You are definitely not a distraction at all. I, if there's a problem with distractions, it's just that I'm bad at dealing with them. I I, I appreciate the company. Um, no, the the problem is not the 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 distractor. It is me, the distractee, um, doing a bad job of. Uh, keeping on task. 
for like coming back to task. So we see at least two here. So it is still possible for that to happen. But it is still possible for this to happen as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I feel like I'm missing some very obvious sightline consideration. This little configuration is a little funny, but I think it's okay. Uh-oh, did I make a mistake? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's okay, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You, yeah, you, you, the mistake I, maybe the, you, you can't do the, the, well, that's what I do. I do that all the time, but I think that's not correct. I definitely see how you could arrive at that because you'd be like, oh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, but itself only counts one. So I think it's okay. But I appreciate you pointing that out because that sounds exactly like the kind of mistake I would make. For sure. Um, let's just think about this one a little bit in terms of like max and min. This digit is definitely less than this digit. And it's definitely at least three. So let's just think about that for a second. Um, so the reason I say it's less than because this horizontally, it's going to see the same number of digits. So I think I'm also saying this is gray, but let's let's talk about this one first. This digit sees three already, so it's a minimum of three. It can't see eight because it has to, it can't look further. No, it can, I'm sorry, that's not true. What I was about to say is not true because it looks up, it actually can. Sorry, it actually could, this could be a straight line and this could see more than one. So I, I was about to say something that was not true. Um, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this technically could be a nine. Um, that's a little interesting to think about. Um, yeah, I, I was, I was on the wrong track there, but maybe it was helped me find a track that is slightly more interesting. Just thinking about these. Um, Like if this was, well, no, because if it was green, it could go that way. Sorry. Gosh, I I I feel like I was moving very smoothly and then just lost the thread a little bit. We know there's a seven in here. We have said that. This is a seven, eight, nine, triple. This is not a seven. That is a three. That means this is a five. Okay, that's helpful. Um, that's not a three. There's no seven in here. Um, that means... There's no seven in here. Oh, that's interesting, five, eight. Um, that means that we do have to see all these digits. This five, we have to see all of these. So that means this is green and that connects this, which makes this six and that's two. Um, anything else cool there? Kind of. One, two, three, four. That seems all okay, I think. So five and eight here, it's a little bit interesting. I did lose a two down here. Oops. I feel like that means something. What does that mean? There's a, there's a four, maybe that doesn't mean anything. I thought we were, were thinking about twos and now I don't remember why. We do, there's two over here. And like we talked about, it's, it's, it's tricky but not impossible for twos to be in cages. It is a thing that can happen. Um, nine of the three up there. 
feels like there's a one, some kind of one problem happening. So, okay, sorry, let's go back to this. Try to, <clears throat> try to think a little bit. So, um, this is a minimum of three. If it was a three, this would have to grow down because it couldn't grow that way anymore. We can't do this. These aren't both gray. Because if they were, and maybe they can be. I keep forgetting about the little hook being possible. I keep saying things that are not true. I'm gonna stop with the falsehoods. Okay, I just wanna, this is silly, but I just wanna run through digits here and just, just to say this out loud. So obviously it's never gonna be a one. It's not a two because it sees a two. It's not a five because it sees a five. Um, in terms of being a nine, I think it is technically possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, but I think there are numbers that are not possible, like, Eight, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight would make that a nine, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight would make it a nine. So that is never an eight, which we knew. We already knew that because eight is here. Gosh, what are the more self-evident statements? Um, this can still be bigger than this if it looks up, only if this is fully eight horizontally which feels like a weird thing to happen like that doesn't really feel like a reasonable thing to happen um box seating is okay I, I definitely prefer it in like just generalizations of like look at this box or look at somewhere um you know just drawing my attention my my, my favorite way is just tomatoes thrown at the screen um yeah definitely glad you know to get things moving if i'm just being annoying by being stuck you're saying row four, column three. So let's look at row four, column three. This person here. <clears throat> well, let's think about it. So um, what do we know about this? Oh, wait. Well, row three, column three is obviously known because we can't have a checkerboard. How did I not see that? But you're not, you're saying row four, column three. Well, let's talk about this first, because this is, we, we know that maybe you're getting there. Maybe you're, you're guiding me to this. So we know that can't be a checker. Sorry, this can't be a two by two. And because of that, this can't be a checkerboard. Sorry, maybe that's what you were leading me to. I just did the thing I said to not do. Um, this already sees four. That's a minimum of four. Am I missing more of those though? I feel like I often am. At least four here, but it's more than four. So it's really at least five because we've decided that four for some reason I don't remember is somewhere else. So it's not one or two, obviously, but it, well, it obviously it already sees four, but it's not four because we said four is down here. So this is, um, let's say five, six, seven, eight, or nine to start with. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's lots of ways to see what I'm missing. Um, for this to be, I don't think, can this be nine? I guess similarly, like it looks up as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing constraints that should be very, very obvious to me, which is embarrassing, but okay, I'm gonna do. Um, we do know there's a one here or here. We've said two could be in here, which it I don't think two can be in here anymore, right? Like if this is green, it sees three, and if it's gray, it sees six. So it's definitely that's not a two. Um Or two. It could be a green three, maybe. 
Hmm. Um, so that puts two down here. Does that matter to anybody? I don't think anyone cares about that. Okay, this, this has got to be something going on here, right? There's thousands of digits, or thousands of cages in here, and a fair amount of coloring. Um, we skip the checkerboard. A really weird spam. Maybe this is the new tactic. People sharing Google Docs that are like invalid bank transfer or whatever. Um, okay, so... We've talked about five being in here. Can't we really think this could be a five? For this to be a five, it's already four. If it grew this way, we blew it. So for this to be a five, it would have to do this. And there would be a green here. Okay, well, I think it can't be a five. So if 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 this was a five. Let's just talk through that. We see one, two, three, four, right? If I try to go this way to make it a five, it's instantly six, seven. So I'd have to do this, right? And so I've made a gray five. So this is one, two, three, four, five. That is all gray. And I would have to put a green here and then I would have a checkerboard. So I think this is not a five. I think that cannot be a five. Um, that means five is down here somewhere. That means that this could grow this way. It could be a six, maybe. One, two, three, four. If it went this way, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that wouldn't work. But could we do this with a six? Maybe. Maybe we could. Oh, wait, hang on. I'm sorry. We know there's a two down here. We know that, right? The 10, right. This 10, this is either a two or a three. If this is a two, then this is an eight, right? We have said that. It would be two plus eight equals 10 for our X sum. If it's a three, then it's two digits that equal to seven, but it's not six plus one, and it's not three plus four because we use them, so it's five plus two. That means this string is always either two eight or it's three plus five plus two. It's either two plus eight or three plus five plus two. So this is never two. So this is two. Does that help me? I don't know. I feel like there's probably a way to know this that I'm just missing. In fact, there's probably, I feel like there's some X sum that has resolved itself behind my back and I just am not, I've just forgotten about it. <laughs> anyway, so that does give us a two here. Does that mean anything to anyone? No, no, no. Three is going to be one of those spots. Eight. Eight's down here. Care about that? Five's down here. Five is here or here. Is that true? Um, one of these is a five. One of these is an eight. That almost feels interesting. Well, okay. So where is five in this box is down here. Cause this was a, I keep missing, good grief. Okay, we said a, a hundred years ago that this was a one, four, five triple. We said that at the, the dawn of time, we said this was one, four, five. So this is not one and this is not five. So one of these is one, but what's more interesting is that if one of these is a five, where are we gonna put five? in uh, in this box, in this in this row specifically. It's not there, this sees a five, so that I think is gonna be a five. Don't know the shading, but hey. Um, what else are we missing from that? Because I feel like there's, there's probably some other 
Yeah. So we've said there's a one is down here, right? One is in here. So one is not here. Oh, wait, sorry. There's another place a one could be. I didn't, I missed that. Um, one is not here, but actually one, I think could be here or here. So I think we could have one in one of those. Um, my mistake. Um, where's three is here. Four is here. Five, six, seven is splayed out all over the universe. As are eight and nine. Um, what else is going on downstairs? One of these is a nine. What are we missing here? One, two, three, four, five. So this is just six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Seven, eight, nine. This sees an eight. Oops. This sees eight and nine, and this sees a nine. I was just wondering if that would put any pressure on um, our X sums. Oh, somewhere we've been given a four, six pair. That's weird. How did I miss this? I don't know. That's a one. That's a two. This sums to 18, which is good. That's not, that's not a one. Um, and that means this is six, seven, or eight. So we have a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple here. We have a two, six pair here, which means that six is not, oops, six is not here. So six is down here which means these are not six. Wait, that's not true. I think I just said some things that weren't true. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me back up a little bit. This feels right. This four, six pair gave me a one, gave me a two. Um, eight, seven, did I break something? I might've broken something. Let me just like plow ahead with this for a second. No sevens here. Something just felt wrong. We ended up with a seven is down here. That feels correct. Oh, I said that was a triple and it's not because there's a six here. It's really a four, six, seven, eight quadruple is the problem. So this is this is four, six, seven, eight. And it's not a seven. Seven is definitely down here. Um, there's no eight here. So that's seven or nine, which is kind of interesting. So it either only sees these or it sees two more. And then that would be the seven. If it's a nine, hmm. maybe that's been true for a while, but I was just, <clears throat> just appreciating it. So I said seven is definitely here. Four is not down here. That is not four. Four is here. Four, six pair. We have two six, so this is not a six. That is still true. I just was missing the four, I think, before. Um, So, what? Do we get our 12? We got our 12. Oops. We got our 18. We ended up with an eight here, after all. So this, this, this is not three, two, five. It is two with an eight, which is exciting. It does put a two up here for whatever that's worth. Um, that does C5. We probably ended up with some XM stuff that I haven't even considered yet, but I just want to be sure that I'm cleaning up all the Sudoku first. And I'm probably missing something. It feels like there's more stuff going on down here. So what's actually left? Um, this box, I think, is still kind of a mess. Two six pair. So this triple is one four eight. Is that right? So this digit sees every digit. Sees two, sees three, sees four, sees five, sees six, sees seven, 
sees eight, sees nine. Oh, this is just a naked single. Um, so we get the one here, and the one here. That means this is just a one four pair. Exciting. Something funny going on with four eight pair, four six pair, seven eight nine triple, one four five. Six, seven, eight, nine, quadruple with the sevens over here. Hmm. Okay, so we did get this, which is great. So we have the foundations of all, we have some ambiguity on the 18, but otherwise, I think we have all of our, oops, all of our X sums now, one, two, three, four, five, six, 31, one, two, three, four, 13, yeah. I think we have all of our X sums, so that's that's exciting. Um, okay, I don't see where else to take the stuff we were just working on. Still vexed by this three, but I'm just gonna choose to ignore it for the moment. funny that I, I was expecting there to be like some obvious X or uh, sorry um, sightline logic that would emerge from that but it did not fall into my lap in the way I was kind of expecting it to the five is definitely in here what else one for a pair. It's really, this has to be limited. That's not good. Three, six, seven, nine. Gross. Not useful. Okay, we probably have to just start thinking about some of these, these cages. I really thought something was going to emerge that was just going to carry me, carry me along. Ooh, nice. Wait, you 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 stream Sudoku pairing? What's your channel? Is it um is it Mr. Scary Muffin or do you stream somewhere else? I had to trick my um uh Oh, that's awesome. I've been really trying to trick. So my, I have a friend from grad school, Wen Alu, who now is a, a puzzle setter for the New York Times. Um, actually, she's a puzzle editor for the New York Times. She does setting for the New Yorker. Um, and she, she's the one that sets the, the New York Times Connections puzzle. If you've, if you've seen that, it's great. It's very good. But she was very anti-Sudoku. She's like a deep crossword person, and I used to be pretty deep in crossword with her. She would do it competitively. I did not. She's definitely better at it than I am. Um, but she's gotten Sudoku curious, and she was doing the like New York Times Sudoku, which is just like boring Sudoku. There's no variance. I don't know why anyone would want to do it. But I've been like trying to lure her in because I feel like there's some crazy world where if I can convince her that variant Sudoku is amazing, that the New York Times will start publishing variant Sudoku. I don't know. I don't know if we will get there, but um, you know, all I can say is she's Sudoku curious for like normal boring people Sudoku. I really like the connections puzzle. I think it's good. She does a great job with it. I think it's like, I think she's getting even better. I think like, um, and there's something really interesting about the nature of that puzzle because it, you kind of get, you have to figure out four things and one of them is basically given to you. So it's a very generous puzzle in terms of like, um, you know, there's four answers effectively and one of them you get for free because it's just the leftover. Yeah, you know, and not just language, uh, like certainly, there's a huge constraint from language, but looking at like the London Times cryptic crosswords, they're impossible for me, not because of a language barrier, but because it's sort of like a uh, British cultural knowledge barrier. Like, I don't think I could ever do 
why is this music suddenly so much louder? Um, uh, like a London Times, obviously it's in English, but there's so much like embedded British knowledge in a cryptic crossword. Um, but you know, everybody knows numbers. The cultural barrier is crazy. When I was getting into them for a while, I, I'm, I, I find them fascinating. Crypto crosswords are really fascinating, but there's just, um, I'd have to spend like a years just building up, uh, yeah, like cultural knowledge that I don't. Well, the other problem with Trivial Pursuit is very often if you try to tra play Trivial Pursuit with someone at like grandma's house, it'll be from, from 40 years ago and it will be like based on cultural references that are not contemporary at all. I think that is a, speaking of this is a tangential thing, but one of the things that I really learned from Wena on, on solving crosswords, she would always amaze me that even if she didn't know what the answer was to something she would still be able to work it out just by kind of like knowing how crossword works and what crosswords work and what letters make sense and things like that and because i would always get hung up perpetually and this is one of the reasons i really didn't like the new york times crossword and it's still not my favorite is that there were always elements of trivia that were unavailable to me and if there was a crossing of two sports related questions like what could i possibly do because i don't know either of them and so, but she was actually very good at being like, like figuring things out just on sort of like letter patterns, but also there is like the idea of crossword ease. There's just kind of um, uh, certain words that sort of only exist in crossword puzzles that you build up a vocabulary of over time. Um, okay, so uh, I've gotten off on a tangent once again. I don't remember what I was doing. We were talking, we were talking about how I probably need to be thinking about sight lines and I was getting distracted. So we did get, we've got some digits and cages that we just don't know the color of yet. We know about this 789 triple. We know this is either eight or nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it, it's gonna take this or it's not gonna take this. And if it takes it, that's it. And this is green. Or if it doesn't take it, then this is green and this is gray, which is annoying. Oh yeah, like if it if P for a fencing quail, E P E E is a word that only appears in crossword puzzles, but it's just it's a bunch of free E's, which is very useful. Um, okay, I've I've gotten tremendously distracted. And I apologize. Let's try to get back back in. We I, we almost certainly need to be thinking about. Uh, we have all of our exums basically done. I think we've done whatever just seems like very obvious. Um, we've done much of our obvious Sudoku. I mean, there's some here and there. Could this be a two? And be green. It couldn't be a two and be gray. It could be a two and be green. I don't know if that's useful to think about. Um, three nine pair up there. I'm okay, just doing a quick scan to see if any. So I'm very good at just missing obvious Sudoku and spending a long time making things too complicated for myself. One of these is absolutely an eight. Could it be you? This is the nine. That sees a minimum of three, four. One of these is gonna be seven and the other is gonna be eight or nine. So the other one is going to extend out somewhat. Um, one, two, five, six, because we have the seven, eight, nine, triple. One, two, five, six, that's not useful, but just thinking. It's like ones. Okay. One could live in there. Here. Uh, 
fives. There's definitely a five in here. Oh, for, yeah, that's perfect. Go to bed right now and wake up in eight hours. Just schedule your life around Mr. Scary Muffin's dreams. And, oh, what's, that makes perfect sense to me. 789, 789. Where's the other really high digit? Annoyingly, could be there, I guess. The seven could be there. Lame. Two, six. Okay, I think I just... I feel resistant to just dive into the <clears throat> sight lines for some reason. Um, maybe because I'm just worried there's some like really obvious thing I'm missing. But I think there's there's I think there is. But I think it is just we need to just get into the sight lines. I think that is the that's the thing we need to do. So we have these uncolored ones down here that could be useful to think about. Got all these we can think about. We know basically what's going on with these. One of them is not going anywhere and one of them is gonna stick up one or two additional digits. Um, that would make, if this was the seven, that would obviously be green. Also I have this sneaking suspicion that I'm missing very obvious yin yang rules, which is another thing I do love to do. Um, this digit is is pretty constrained, even aside from. I, yeah, I think we have a fair number of digits that are actually pretty constrained, even aside from. Uh, Sight lines and such. I was thinking about that for a second. Four, six, three, nine. No, there's one of the digits. Four, six, three, nine, seven. Not useful, but yeah, four, six, three, nine, seven, I think are what these could be. Um, I'm starting to feel embarrassed. I'm just missing extremely obvious things at this point. I already said that couldn't be eight, but could potentially be nine. Um, five, six is fine. Seven is fine. Nine is not. This is a two, which means that it is, whatever color it is, it's like very boxed in. So if, um, maybe that's the thing that's worth thinking about for a second. Like if it's a two, if this is green, okay, that's worth thinking about. If we try to make this two green, it already sees green and all of these become gray and that is okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say it's not okay, but I think it actually is. If this was green, then these are the two greens and all of these become gray. This becomes gray to avoid a two by two. Those all become gray. That means this whole line is gray. Up to here, at least. That means these digits then have to be six, seven, eight, and nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So that would be the nine. That would be the seven. No, no, no. That would be the nine. That would be the six. 
that would be the seven. This would be the eight. So this would also be gray. <clears throat> but maybe that's okay, actually. Maybe it's fine. If this is all gray, I think that it can't all be gray, right? Because then we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> it would not be possible because we'd only have eight and nine to do there. So certainly one of these is green, but I think annoyingly it is possible for this to be gray and have this all be gray. Can it go the other way? Like this, there's just enough room for this to be six, seven, eight, and nine, I think. Which makes this a three. And this has to be green. And would see at least three, because it would have to get out of there. Um, feels possible for that to be gray. Sorry, you're saying row four, column five can't be nine. That is true. You're right about that. Um, this, this, that is true. Because if we tried to make this whole thing, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but only eight and nine would be valid to put in those cages. So you, you are correct um, that that can never be nine. That is quite true. Um, be seven one two can it ever be seven yeah one two three four five six seven is a way it can be seven nine or can nine be so if and then think about if two is gray it has to be surrounded by green on the other sides Okay, well, that's a little interesting. If two is gray, then it has to be surrounded by green. But if we um, if we try to make the other gray here or here, like I say, we try to make this the other gray, then these need to be green, and we end up with a checkerboard. So if two is gray, it has to go this direction, which I think breaks. because it means these two digits are the same. Let me think about that for one second. If we make two gray, it has to talk to one friend and then all everything else around it becomes green. So if we try to make this um, green or this green, then this has to be green and we've created a checkerboard. So in the only, if two is gray, it has to look like this, right? But that means that whatever these two digits are, they're always gonna see one more than whatever's in the row. So these two digits would always be the same number. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, this is a seven and this is a seven. They're not a, there's not a way for them to see different numbers. So I think two has to be green. Does that sound reasonable? Does that check out? I think that's reasonable. That means these are gray. That means this is gray to avoid a checkerboard. That means this is gray. That means this sees some numbers. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six is the most. It sees, well, this doesn't see two, so it at least sees three, so it's gotta get out of here. Um, so this is three, four, five, six, but it's not five. Let me think through this for a second. This is one, two, three. It's at least three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's three, four, five, six. It's not five. Hmm. That was a one. And we've already said that we can't make this all gray. 
right? We talked about that. Like if we try to make this all gray, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then these, we've got problems here because these see eight and we need four digits that are bigger than eight and that's not gonna happen. So this is definitely green. We also just have to connect our worlds, right? I guess we, well, our worlds are already connected. So that means that one, two, three, four, five, six, this just is six. That means this sees one more than that. So this just is seven. That apparently means this is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that one sees all of its friends, so it's green. This appears to be a three, seven, three. I hope I did that correctly. This sees six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That seems good. That's now a nine. That's a seven. Um, there's no seven here. There's no nine here. That is going to see four, six, eight, four, uh, eight, six. We've lost our threeness up here. We've lost four, six, seven here, and six here. Lost six here. Okay, I apologize. I'm going to stand up once again. I'll be back in just a moment. I know we were we were we were cooking with gas and I blew it. I apologize. <clears throat> Put it back. We're all back. Everything's good. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna wrap it up in no time. We've got this. We've got all of our X sums. We have at least something in most of our uh, sight line cages. Okay, so what's going on? We said two. We said three, four. We said what else? We said one, two's here, three, four. Where's eight? Should be there though. Okay, sorry, just thinking, just thinking about what's going on with these. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is obviously not five. So this is gonna be an eight. This is gonna be a five. We see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is gonna be gray. This needs to see five. Hmm. Uh, we place our five down here. We have a one, four pair, so we just get a three. No, 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 what are we missing here? Seven? You are not a seven. Interesting news because we know that one of these had to be a seven. So that's the seven. So this is green. So we have this eight, nine pair, whichever it is, it has to grow. So it grows and it becomes the nine. This becomes the eight. So we finally get to learn that this is uh, green after a thousand years, we've learned it. Let's just verify this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's you. Eight. That's you. 
eight, nine, that's you. So this is the nine, that's the eight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this person sees three, so that is the three we've been waiting for. That's a four, one, two, three, four. And then we get a gray, and we have to avoid a two by two. So this is green. That is not a three. This becomes untangled. We know all of our X sums, right? We just have some that are like not fully disambiguated, but we know them. That is three or nine. So this three, nine, X-wing that this is going to disambiguate because it sees three, right? So you're the three, the nine, the three, the nine. Cool. This person sees two, so that just is a two. Gives us the seven and the two up here. Makes this six. Two. Uh, nine, one, six, eight, nine, not two, seven, that's not the one. The one's in here somewhere. So what have we just learned? One, two, three, four. So we need five. Becomes green. This already sees all of its green. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five. So five is not allowed to see any more green. So it gets grayed. And then what? We have to connect this green to the rest of the world. Okay. So we've completed all of the X sums, which they're now all disambiguated. We have all of our sight lines populated, right? No, I have a mistake. What did I do? Oh no, what happened? What did I just do? What did I just do? Oh no. What did I just do? Oh, did I do something very silly? Hang on. Was that just bad pencil marking? I hope. I'm <clears throat> sorry, let's try that again. We said one, two, three. We said this had to be green. We said this had this has to be gray. Did I just put the wrong colors in here? And this has to be gray. So this has to be gray and we connect down here. And this now works here. Okay, sorry about that. So is this correct now? I hope. You see three. It looks sort of reasonable. So this is the other half of a four or five pair and the fives are over there. So that's a four, a five, a one, a four, a five. And then this is what? The one ends up here. The, what's that, eight and a six. Wow. Okay, other than the dumb coloring mistake at the end, that was great. It was very good. It went very smoothly, I feel like, especially for me. I didn't have to make a terrible mistake and restart it like I always do. Thanks, Mr. Scary Muffin. Appreciate your uh, your guidance and support. Everyone else who stopped by, Flinty and LM, which stands for Logic Master, Demasi. Um, that was good. I think I'm going to stop. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, if you take out all the distractions of me just talking about other things getting distracted, this is, it basically took no time. It's probably world record, actually. Um... I do kind of want to do... Oh, this puzzle was good. What a good puzzle. This puzzle we did yesterday, um, one of Heliopolix's puzzle was just so interesting. The zipular lines had some... Oh, boy. What a treat. It was a treat. Um, well, that's not what we're talking about today. We're going to enter our blobs score on row four. Wow, I had to put two rows... Outrageous. Followed by row five. Does that actually work? This puzzle, average puzzle, it was very nice. I I have to say, you know, Blobs, the, the master, this is an incredible setter. This is not the most inspired artwork for the puzzle, I, I have to say. I mean, Blobs often has insane AI generated nonsense and this one is a little tame. So I, I, puzzle, five stars, incredible, beautiful puzzle. Um, 
puzzle artwork. I don't know. Like, look at this extend, expend, well, excuse me, extend and yin yang sight Okay, I'm not gonna do this today. This is probably the next blobs puzzle I will do. I think I'm gonna stop it because I've been, yeah, streaming too much, a little too long, but I enjoy it. I appreciate you all stopping by, but I just have to admit, I do live in fear of extend bands because they just break my brain a little bit. Oh man, I'm tempted to just dive in. It's two o'clock. Should I just do it? Oh no, now I'm, I could, I'm talking myself into, should I just do it? I kind of want to just do it. Look at it. Just look at it. I'm so interested in how this is going to work with yin yanks. I already see a digit. There's already a digit for, for okay, we have to do it. I didn't want to do this. Okay, we've got to do it. We're doing it. Um, I shouldn't have looked at it because I was just lured in instantly. Yeah, I know you can't look at it. Yeah, the first digit is free. So <clears throat> the reason the first digit is free is it is a weird interaction of yin yangs and sightline rules that is like a unique thing about the overlap of these two rule sets which I'll talk about and then we'll talk about the rest of the rules. So we have the yin yang rules we just had, which is we have to separate the grid into two colors that are orthogonally connected, no two by twos. Those are the explicit rules. The implicit rules are that there's no checkerboards and that you can only change color once along the perimeter, meaning there's sort of two color boundaries. Some part of the perimeter is gonna be one color, another part, part of the perimeter is gonna be another color, and that's it. You can't, you can't switch back and forth. Sightline rules are exactly as we just saw them in the previous puzzle. These digits and cages will tell you how many of their friends they see of the same color. The extend band rules, which extend bands mess up my brain. They are basically ren bands, except one of the, the, the extreme digits are repeated. So these two digits are the same, which I, I just, I'm, I can already tell there's gonna be weird, interesting things because of that. Like, I think there's gonna be interesting communication because you can see that we have instances where the ends of these extend bands land in cage cells. But backing up from that, <clears throat> the reason we have a total freebie here is if I look at this and I try to say like, is it possible for me to make this all one color? That would mean that there were nine green digits, say. That means that all of these digits would see nine at least. And that's not gonna work. Like you need, we need one, two, three, four, five. There would need to be five digits, nine and above for that to work. So this can't be solved, right? Not possible. So we know there's a color change on this wall. We're gonna flip from one color to the other on this side. We have the exact same problem here. Um, this can't be fully solid because we would see nine digits and that's just not gonna work out. We would need five digits that are nine or above and that's not gonna work out. That means that we know there's a color change on this side and there's a color change on this side. That means that these two sides are a solid color. So one of the things that will just always be true in these yin yang sightline puzzles, um, really in any yin yang puzzle, but you're gonna have solid colors on at least two sides, possibly three, but the sight lines really give you a hint into that. So as soon as we've done that, we can see that this digit is in a cage. So one, we know that this is gray, just because we can't have a two by two, but this sees nine digits. So this is just a nine. So we get that nine effectively for free, which yeah, that's how they get you. The other thing we just know is that because there's a color change here and a color change here, that this is definitely gray. And then we can start to like pick this apart a little bit by saying like, okay, well, could this be gray? What happens if I try to make this gray? If I try to make this gray, we have, we need one, two, three, four, five digits that are eight or above. And that is not gonna work. There's only two digits that are eight or above. So this is definitely green, avoided two by two. Um, can I make these all gray? 
that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would mean I need four digits that are seven and above. There are only three digits that are seven or above, so these are not all gray. Remember, there is a color flip here, we know, but there's only one. Um, however, one, two, three, four, five, six means I need three digits here that are six or above, and that's fine. That's actually totally reasonable. Um, so this is okay to make all of these gray, but we can start coming in from the opposite direction and ask questions like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we have one, two, three, four digits that need to be eight or above, so that's a no-go. So this is gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need three digits that are seven or above. That's actually possible. So it, this would be okay if this was a seven and then this was an eight, nine pair is reasonable. So we can't constrain that one more. Um, looking at this side, if I tried to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again, we have one, two, three, four, five digits that need to be eight or above, which that doesn't exist. And then we can't have a two by two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We would need one, two, three, four digits, which are seven or above, and we only have three digits. And then one, two, three, four, five, six would mean we need four digits that are six or above, which there are just enough, right? It would be, th this would be a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple if these were all gray, which I think at a glance seems reasonable. Going the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would mean we needed one, two, three, four digits that are eight or above. That's a no-go. So this is gray, which means this is green. Um, interesting. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I already do that one? I already forgot. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three digits. That would be seven or above. So this would be the seven because it can't see more. And this would be an eight, nine pair, which at the moment seems reasonable. It's interesting because we know that these two digits are going to be the same. So if we had a nine here, that means this would be a nine. Um, so I'm interested to see how that's going to play out. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, I glossed right over it, but this is also a nine. We got two freebies. We got two free digits in this puzzle because we this is a solid side, so this sees a nine as well. And in fact, because these are extend bands, we get another nine absolutely free at no cost to you. Completely free. Um, which is an incredible value. That means that these digits have to be a seven, eight pair, right? Because these are extend bands. So they still have to be a sequence of non-repeating digits except for the ends. And the only thing that you could put on this that's gonna be adjacent to a nine is an eight. And then the other digit has to be a seven. So this is a seven, eight pair. We get a seven, eight, nine triple here. We know that there's a nine down here. Placing it on this. Um, the thing I have to also remember is that the ends don't have to be extreme. Something about it, like extend band, makes me want to say the ends are the extremes, but they're not. And I'm going to probably screw that up. I was thinking a little bit about sevens, eights, and nines. <clears throat> Not sure. Um, so, and thinking about nine being on this is interesting. Nine does force it, right? Like that's still true. If we have a nine on here, then these are forced. Oh, does that mean this can't be a nine? Because as soon as a nine is on this Ren band, this is a one, two, three, four, length five Ren band. So as soon as we put a nine on here, we have to have five, six, seven, eight. It's just required. That would mean that these digits are five, six, seven, and eight. Which means we've got problems because we have a seven, eight pair right here and only one of them could escape. So I think this can't be a nine, which is kind of cool. Also, I was just thinking a little bit about where ones can go because that's always a good question to ask yourself in these sightline puzzles. 
like one in this box is pretty pretty constrained so one of these well if there was a one on here we would just know that um you know this it would be an extreme rin band it would be one two three four five another thing we need to think about is just like good old-fashioned rin band logic oh shoot right right oh i already screwed it up it's still fine but when i said this was a nine on here I said like, oh, that means this is gonna be nine, eight, seven, six, five. One, two, three, four, five digits, but that's not true. Um, because what the end digits will be doubled. So there's we won't ever make it to five, but that's even worse. That means that whatever's down here couldn't hide because if we tried to hide something down here, it would end up here as well. So neither seven nor eight could hide here. So in other words, if there was a nine on here, one of these would have to be an eight and there's no place to put the eight. It can't go here. And if I put an eight here, there's an eight here. So I'm bad at extend bands. I, 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 I can't state that emphatically enough. Um, <clears throat> so what else do we want to think about? This one is kind of interesting. got to recalibrate my brain a little bit to not think about X sums, think about X bands instead. Oh no. Lyrics. Extenuating. Oh God. Extenuating circumstances. Yes. So the, here's the problem is that it's, there's no problem. I'm glad to have it, but blo both blobs and Helio yesterday were killing me with puns. It was, I loved it. It was a, it's, it was as good a way to go as any, but so in other words, Mr. Scream Up and you're 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 continuing a, a program of torture that was begun yesterday. Which is fine. Okay, um We probably just need to think with our brains a little bit. Just a touch. Like there's, a, it's just such a weird thing. So, but I think it could still work in this case. Like if I try to put a nine on here, I have to have seven and eight on it, but I think it could be okay if they were here and these were the inverse of it. But it's a, it's a tricky thing to consider. This could only be nine if it went up. We should probably start thinking a little more about our sight lines, but I'm just trying to wrap my brain about the, around the extend bands a little bit. Um, one of these is definitely extreme. No, that's not true, because I guess this could be a one. This could be the one. We've already said a nine is not on it. And this could be the one. Hmm. <laughs> The punishment did not fit the crime. Actually, it probably did because I was probably making bad puns and I was probably, um, it was, I don't know, that doesn't work. I was about to say punitive, but that doesn't work. Punitive, punitive damage. I don't, I don't think that quite works. Um, okay, well, what do we want to think about here? I'm interested in these. I'm interested in these. They just might not quite be the thing to think about yet. And there is just the annoying thing of like, you can't use the logic of saying like, oh, it's a length five Ren band, so it definitely has a five on it. That's not true in this puzzle. I think on a leak sixth, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can start to use those rules, but on length five, I, 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 I do not think you can. So, what do we want to do? Seven and eight. Be seven, eight. And then that would have to be double six, I guess. For the, I don't know. I'll probably not think about that anymore. <clears throat> 
this is a little interesting. Just think about where the one goes, because if we put one can't go in here. And as soon as we put one on here, we are signing ourselves up to also add. Um, the two and the three. And I guess the four, right? But one of those is going to be doubled. But maybe that's okay. Hmm. I knew this was going to happen. See, they get lots gets at these nines for free, and then it all it all falls apart. Just thinking about there's some interesting things about like this digit is this digit is placed up here somewhere. So I was just thinking about that a little bit. This digit is also this digit, so it's ruled out of there, so it's in here somewhere. This digit is this digit, so it's down here somewhere. So maybe we just need to start pencil marking and translating some stuff. I don't feel emotionally ready to do that. I like there's a little more to do. That's a nine. These are high numbers. That's a nine. Like there's gonna be weird stuff going on here, I feel like, just in terms of these. Hmm. This does have to have a five on it. Is that true? It's definitely not a nine on it. I don't think it has to have a five, right? Because couldn't it still just be one, two, one, two, three, four, and then the repeat? So yeah, there's not a, it doesn't have to be a five. Gosh. <clears throat> well, do we start pencil marking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This doesn't feel like very healthy pencil marking. Like minimum of three, maximum of seven is not very attractive, I must say. If these were seven, these would definitely be eight and nine, but in fact, this would be eight and this would be nine if this was seven. Eight, nine, also eight. Eight couldn't be there. That would be eight, eight, eight would be down here. It would have to go next to a seven, which could not be here or here. So this would be a seven, eight pair. So then seven has to go up here. Okay, this is getting a little complicated, a little bit complicated. I think I'm saying I don't think that works, but you've got to go like five moves ahead to see that it doesn't. So I don't know that that feels like what I want to do. Um, This is no more than seven, but C's three. This is the C's three. I mean, same thing over here. What is a good place for us to get a foothold in this puzzle? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If that were seven, then <clears throat> then this is an eight nine pair. If that were seven, this is an eight nine pair. If this were seven, 
This is an 8-9 pair. This could never be 7. This is only 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If this is 6, this is a 7-8-9 triple. Two, three, four, five, six. So this is also two, three, four, five, six. Which makes this seven, eight, nine, some something. We don't know. Seven, eight, nine distributed across these digits. Um, that's at least put something on a line here. These two digits are the same. That doesn't feel impo as important as these two digits being the same. <clears throat> these two digits being the same feels more important. to be on here. The one has a pretty big impact on the rim band if we could if we could force that. But it seems like it in in every box that is a place to escape. What a little rascal. I really think a nine could be here. Nine can only be here if this is a seven, eight pair and this is double six, right? Hmm. Do I really think that could be nine? I really think this could be two. Hmm. There's some way of thinking of this that I'm just not uh, not yet grasping. I'm really I'm very drawn to thinking about ones. Six digits here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no nines on here. Sorry, there's but there's only five digits here. Across six. So we have five unique digits that are sequential with one repeat that doesn't include nine. So it's something like one, two, three, four, five with a repeat, or eight, seven, six, five, four with a repeat. But that always puts a four and a five uh, on the line. I don't know if I care about that yet. This digit, 
is this digit is up here somewhere. This digit is this digit is not here, is up here somewhere. Is that a thing to think about? Is it, it feels like there's some some interesting something going on, maybe? It's just that in that case, there's no cage, so it just doesn't feel very helpful. Like you can start to see, some, it's just not quite there. I just am not seeing it. Like if you think about this, like where one goes in here, you start to see stuff like, oh, well, one can't go here because one, because the ends are the same and that would put a one here. But that's just not quite, <clears throat> excuse me, not quite there. Like, One in this box, this couldn't be a one, because it would end up there. One in this column. Not here or here or here. It's not seven or eight, and it's not here because it ends up there. But it still doesn't. just not quite enough because there's still two places one could go it's the same thing here one is not anywhere in any of these but it could be here or here that means this is one two three with a double it just might not be the thing to think about <clears throat> this column there's no one in those About the wrong things. That's how it feels to me. So the ends matching, does that do we care about that? This is here, and then it's up here somewhere. The nines down here. Let me go back to thinking about the nines. That was not a nine. That's not a nine. This, well, that's a little bit interesting. So that's not a nine, that's not a nine. We decided this wasn't a nine because we'd have nowhere to put eight. So that's not a nine. This is not a nine because it would put a nine over here as well. This is not a nine. Um, because it's not possible for it to see nine digits. This is not a nine because there's a nine up there. Um, but that's almost good. It's like it's almost a cool thing to happen. But how do we restrict it further? because this could still work if this is a six, I think. A nine, one, two, three, four, five, four unique digits could be nine, eight, seven, six. So that would be the nine, that would be the six, and then you'd have double eight or double seven, excuse me. If that was the nine. Up here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, it could be the same thing. You'd have nine up there um, with a six, maybe. So, I don't know. Just a little too permissive. Hmm. 
a little bit too much. Maybe nine is not. Worth considering. There's lots of places that are almost interesting, like nine in this box is not up here and it's not here. And it's not here because that would stick nine down here. Oh, and it's not here because that would stick nine down there. So there is a nine in here. So there is a nine down here. <clears throat> Does that help anyone with anything? Nine down here would put a nine up here. This becomes an eight, seven pair. This becomes a six. And we have so many places where we almost know something about nines. It just doesn't quite feel like the right thing to think about. This digit is this digit. It ends up down here along with the nine. I don't know what it is, but it's down here with the nine. This digit, this digit lives with the trend of the nine down here. This digit and this digit lives up here. And there's no nine. <clears throat> there is a one in here somewhere. Seven, eight. So this is just one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, good gracious. One, two, three. One of these ends up being pretty big. One, two, three, four, five, six. This digit, if it is gray, is at least one, two, three, four, five, six. And if it's green, it's at least one, two, three, four, and it's less than nine. It's not super useful. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, because again, if it was green, it would see at least four. If it's gray, it sees at least six, but it can't see nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, which means this is four, five, six, seven, eight. This digit, I think we can have like a similar thought about that, but it can be nine, which is annoying. If it's gray, it's at least four, but it can be as much as nine. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we don't get to translate it anywhere. So that's just not very cool. Not very excited about that. Um, this digit is at least three. This digit, if it was, yeah, these just are not very cool. That could be three through nine. Well, this digit does have to see more than whatever this digit is, it does actually. So we can see as much as nine, but it, it needs to see at least four. We just don't know which way it's gonna grow. So this one is another four, five, six, seven, nine. <clears throat> it's gotta see more than that, but it could grow up. Um, this digit has to see a number that is like in range of this. 
Which maybe that's the real point of this puzzle. This this has to be bigger than this. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. This has to be bigger than this if it's green. If it's gray, it's definitely bigger. But that's sort of worth, worth thinking about. Could this ever be four? Because if it's gray, it's already six. If it's green, it's four. But if it's four, then what is this digit? It's got to be more than this. Okay, so let's think about it this way. If this is... Um, if it's gray, it's already six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it's green, we're saying it could be four, but actually it couldn't. One, two, three, four would mean this is four. So this would have to be a minimum of five. So these are at least five, not four, I think. So that's five, six, seven, eight, which is a little more interesting. I was just thinking about nine. Hmm. Or like if there can ever be a one on here now. Okay, sorry, I will be right back. Excuse me. So the thing we were saying is that I think that has to be at least five. And then I was just thinking about what these could ever be like, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, like if these were fives, then I guess this could be four, three, two, but that means there's never a one on here. I don't know if that matters. So those are five, six, seven, eight. There were nine, there could be eight, seven, sixes. Flinty, good night. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thanks for the tomatoes to the face. I deserve it. Um, Definitely having a harder time with this puzzle than I had with the previous one. Extend bands. They're just, they're cursed monsters. I, I've got to say. I, I feel like if I had a better understanding of extend bands or like some some good mental model of how they work, this would be much easier for me. Um, like especially in a place like this, where this is a sequence for sure. Yeah, right. This is just a rim band. This is just a sequence of four digits because the the repeat is here. So this is just straight up a good old fashioned rim band. Nothing fancy because the repeat's going to be here. So the, the, these are four unique digits. So actually, that's a little bit interesting and maybe worth thinking about. That also means this is just a good old fashioned red band. Nothing fancy, nothing weird. Means this is good old fashioned red band. It's four sequential digits. Never hurt anybody. So does that help me? To think about that as a good old-fashioned Ren Ban. 
trying to decide if I wanted, like, if, for example, if I wanted to put one on that rim band, what that would mean for the world. Because then one couldn't, or if I didn't put one on it, one would definitely be here or here. This feels like it could be three, but still up to nine. I don't really think this could be nine. I guess I do. Get six from this way, or six from this way. Oh, but that's a thing, right? The <laughs> same logic applies down here, that this can't be four. Because if it's green, it's definitely six. And if it's gray, it sees four, but this sees four and it needs to see four, so it needs to see five. Oops. I think that's not four. Tiny, tiny deductions. Um, so those are pretty dang high digits. So we need some low digits in this land. And some of those low digits, either one or two, is going to fall on these run bands and going to pull them very low. This is already pulled quite high. This digit, we already talked about that digit, ends up up there. Sorry, this digit ends up up there. Can I put, oh, we know nine can't go here because there's a nine there. We know seven and eight can't go here. But I don't think seven and eight can go on here at all. Because if I put, where could I put eight? If I tried to put on this rim band, if I try to put eight, I know I can't have a nine. There's definitely a seven somewhere. So even if I hide the eight down here, where does the seven go? If it goes here, it gets stuck up there as well. So there's no eight on this rim band either, I think. Seven is annoying though, because seven could hide down here. Oh, I'm missing some some tremendously obvious things, I'm sure of it. Seven. That would be eight or nine. That would be eight or nine. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. And that seems okay. That would be two. That would be a bigger number, bigger than two. Does one go? Like that, my guys. Yeah, good grief. There's, there's some um, some fundamental notion that I'm just not. Uh, grasping here. I feel like I have a similar problem. I guess maybe not. This Renban 
does not have nine or eight. I guess it could have eight, seven, six. Could be an eight, seven pair of sixes here, I guess. Oh boy, I'm struggling with this one. Need a different, uh, different plan of attack, maybe. These two digits are up here. These two digits I hesitate to bring in more colors, but just for the moment. Um, this digit is the same as this digit, right? <clears throat> so it's not anywhere in here. It's not here. It's not on the line. So maybe that one's not very useful, actually. It's either here or here. And in this box, it's down here, potentially. This digit and this digit up here somewhere. This digit and this digit not there or there. This digit and this digit down here somewhere. This digit and this digit down here somewhere. It's a little bit interesting. This digit, so the nines down here these two digits down here, whatever, th what this is also down here. This digit, this digit up here. This digit, this digit. It's not the same as this digit, it's up here. These two digits in here somewhere. This digit and this digit down here. This digit, this digit, in here. Oh no, tomato attack. I deserve it. I really do. I'm having a hard time with this puzzle. I just, I'm struggling to find a foothold. It's not you. I don't blame you, Mr. I can't believe you're still here. The, 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 your patience is astounding. Okay, so let's... Uh, I feel like there's some constraints here that we just are not quite... And by we, I mean me. Um, there's tomatoes everywhere. No, it's fair. You should be. You should be. You, no one should be watching this with bated breath because I'm so I'm very clumsily. This seems like Ben or Grimbo causing a causing a tomato ruckus. Okay, so the thing I was just thinking about is is what it means to try to make this uh, all gray, right? To try to make this all gray. That means this is definitely a six, because it can't be any bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six. If these are, if this is gray, these are all gray. This is a six, and this is a seven, eight, nine triple. Is that a problem? That becomes a seven, eight, nine, triple. These three digits become seven, eight, and nine. That's definitely not the nine. So the nine ends up 
here or here. So this digit definitely ends up a seven or an eight for sure in that scenario. They're all gray, it's seven or eight. which means it would have to grow. Because it would only see six in the column. They all have to grow, in fact. The six doesn't grow. Seven has to grow by one, the eight has to grow by two, the nine has to grow by three. We don't know which would be which, we just know that that's not the nine. So it's gonna grow either to here or here, if that's gray. <clears throat> this could be nine. I don't know. This is not a three. It's a very minor deduction, but it's not a three because if it was a three, these would both be green and then gray would be trapped. So it's at least a four. Incredible. Incredible detective skills. Am I missing some instructions? Probably. Probably ignoring some critical, critical, critical instructions. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? The, the, uh, we think the nine could possibly end up there. If these were all gray, this would be seven, eight, or nine. This is at least a four, though. I just did. Um. <clears throat> Seven, eight, or nine. This has to grow one way or the other. I'm kind of amazed at having this hard a time with this. Shouldn't be, but I am. Um, if this were gray, this would be some combination of. Well, okay. Maybe the better thing to say is if this was green. This would be a seven, eight, nine triple. This would be the seven. This would be an eight, nine pair. Seven, eight, nine would be accounted for. One of those would grow up. If this was all gray, we'd have some combination this would be a six, and then these would be seven, eight, nine. So that just doesn't feel very useful. If these were all green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This again would be a seven, eight, nine triple. There's something funny here. There's something funny here, and I, 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 I'm not. It doesn't feel like it's quite right somehow. Like something is weird. Um, if these were all gray, this would be a six, seven, eight, nine uh, quadruple. So these digits would be from six, seven, eight, nine. If these were all green, this would be a seven, eight, nine triple. So in both of those cases, these are from six, seven, eight, and nine. The problem is if they're not all the way green, like in other words, if I only went six going this way, that's still a seven, eight, nine. But if I did this, could never do that actually for reasons I don't really remember I could I'd have to go like this to make it green and then have these this this then would be five this digit would be five and then these numbers just have to be bigger than that 
I'm embarrassed by the difficulty I'm having here. What an embarrassment. What a debacle. Um, this is a sequence of digits. That is a true statement. This is a sequence of unique digits. This is a sequence of unique digits. I don't like that one as much. This is a sequence of unique digits. This is a sequence of unique digits. Just... Bad at extend bands. Same digit thing feels important. Right? Somehow? Somehow important? This is a pretty interesting one, actually. Just because the, the, the extremes are outside of the box, they see a lot of digits, and then they also see the line that it's on. So this this digit is pretty constrained, but not in a way that I find tremendously useful. Could it be on that line? I guess it is possible for it to be on that line. There's stuff to think about too, about like where this digit, like what this digit could be so that it doesn't have to appear on these lines. Just knowing that like, with the, the ex extend band logic hurts my brain in that regard. I know those aren't ones. Those are very exciting. It is hard. It's true. I I should. Thank. I appreciate that, Mr. Scrammelton. Oh my gosh, Terrier. This is. Uh, I don't know what's going on either. Extend bands hurt my heart and my mind. Terrier, how's it going? I didn't. I didn't see you uh, appear there. Okay, we're gonna get this. I just need the right intuition i thought we were doing well with nines like we had some business occurring with nines that felt like a fruitful business right felt like nines were we had something going on with nines i feel like the last real deduction we had was this And if we put a nine here, nine obviously wouldn't be the repeated digit. So this, th these digits would be from eight, seven, and six. Okay, let's read the rules. Rule set number one is yin yang. So we need to avoid two by twos. We need to avoid checkerboards, um, which I think we have so far. Um, so I, I think we are safe in terms of yin yang rules. Sightline rules we've been thinking about quite a bit in terms of like making sure that the cage digits see the right number of digits. Um, oh, well, okay. 
it's worth doing that, right? Because we the, the nine already sees all of its digits. So that is a gray digit for sure. So that's good news. Um, regarding that, if we had one, two, three, four, five, I guess it's still okay. That would make that a four and it would have to look up. But okay, on sight lines, I did miss that. Very fair. Um, anything else with sight lines to think about? Just We know we were thinking about that in terms of where ones can go because ones are quite restricted on sightline puzzles, but I didn't, I haven't seen somewhere yet where that's forced. It feels like it's gotta be somewhere. Um, I can see a lot of restrictions on ones. Actually, there's a, a really funny one actually. Yeah, okay, speaking of ones, just thinking of one, I don't know if this is gonna be fruitful to think about, but let's just think about it. Um, if can these be ones? Can this, the extreme digits on this extend band be one? I think the answer is no, because wherever this digit, wherever these digits are in this box, they end up here, so they can't be ones. And that means that there's no ones here or here or here. It also means that there's no one here because that would be a problem. So that's not a one. There's no one here. Oh my gosh, that's almost useful. It's almost useful. Um, that means one is in here, which I, it's not really worth pencil marking, but I'm gonna. It's just, it's almost it's so close to being a useful thing. Um, that means this is not a one and this is not a one and none of these are ones and this is not a one. So that means one, at least we've got it within two columns in here. In this column, that's not a one, that's not a one, and that's not a one. That's not a one, that's not a one. I feel like those could be ones though, annoyingly. Okay, sorry, Mr. Scary Muffin, you said, look at row eight, column three. Mm, excuse me. Row eight, column three. What is the color of this? Oh, that is a fair point, right? So you're saying, right. So let's talk about this. Whatever this is, it has to see more than this sees um, because it's the same color. So whatever, which we, it's funny, we actually pencil marked that properly, but didn't follow to the next step, which is as Mr. Scary Muffin points out, Whatever we put here, this has to be at least one greater, but it can't grow this way because this would see that too. So it is a requirement that this come up. So it's a requirement that this come up because the gray then has to escape. Um, that means that this, well, we know that. It sees at least two, but that's a, this now sees four, which is its minimum. Um, I really wanted, the ones are so close. It's very frustrating. Like in this land, why did I say this couldn't be a one? Right, because these two digits in this box are here. So this can't be a one, so this can't be a one. So in this land, you're not a one, you're not a one, you're not a one, you're not a one. You're not a one. That, I guess, could still be a one. If one of these was a one, then the rest of the digits would be two, three, four, with one of them repeated. I 
Maybe I'm just wrong about the ones being useful. Doesn't it feel like it? Doesn't it? Do you have that feeling? Do you have that feeling in your heart? Like, could we have a one on here? I think we can't, actually. <clears throat> and there'd be a one on this line. One, two, three, four, five, but there's only four unique digits. So if we have a one, the unique digits would be one, two, three, four. So actually, there's not a one on this line. Which is still like almost, it's almost something. Ugh. <clears throat> it's almost something. If we could get one on a Ren Band, that would be cool. That would be a cool, a cool day. Um, if we got one on this line, then this line is one, two, three, four, something doubled. I don't know. sort of almost slightly close with placing ones, but just isn't quite there, is it? Is it? That was a four, and this was a three. That would be gray, and that would be gray. this gray. One in here. Um, it's obviously not there or there or there. Putting a one here forces this to be two, three, four, right? If we try to put a one here, then this is a one, and these digits are forced to be two, three, four in some configuration. It means this is forced to be five or six. That means this is forced to be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This is forced to be five or six. No, 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 it's not. This is forced to be two, three, or four. Is that possible? If we try to put a one here, I just don't know as much about that. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Okay. Well, it, it feels like we just need to think about extend bands. It's just a lot of leeway in these right now, unfortunately, unless I can force some low or high digits on them. Nine is a great digit to have on them. We've tried to force nines. Um, one would be a very cool digit. I'd take, I would even take a two. Um, what, it, 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 like my intuition is telling me that it's about ones just because ones have such extreme meaning both for sight lines and for Rin bands. Um, same with nines. Less so nines on the sight lines, but.
how do we get a one somewhere that we care about having a one? It's annoying because it feels like in every box, the one has just like one place to escape where it doesn't necessarily have to be on a line. I guess this one has more than one, but it has at least one. Like this box um, could escape here and not be on a line. This box, it could escape here and not be on a line. This box, it could escape here and not be on a line. Like there's lots of boxes that are close in terms of kind of trying to corner. Corner the one. I think is what is like this. This kind of configuration is pretty wild. Like these are sequential. There's just not a lot of room for leeway here. Like if this is a two, then somewhere on here is a three. This has to become green. This has to become green. If this is a six, This has to be bigger. That's sort of interesting. <clears throat> if this is a six, no, we haven't really thought about that. If this is a six, this has to be bigger and it's gonna pull the whole, um, the, pull the Ren band up. Like this has to be at least seven then, right? If this is gray. And maybe that's worth thinking about, actually. If, okay, that is worth thinking about. I think that's worth thinking about. Sorry, it's not seven if it's gray. If, if this is six, um, this has to be at least seven, but let me just think through this for a second. If these were all green, that means this number is very high and this number is very low right in a way that seems problematic so let's let's go through this if i make this number green one one two three four five six seven this number is at least seven it's seven eight or nine in fact it's eight or nine because this is the seven this number ah okay this number becomes eight or nine in that scenario and this number becomes two and th th those can't exist on the same rim band Right? One, two, three, four, five, but there's only four unique digits. So if this was eight, it could be eight, seven, six, five, and it couldn't be two. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna just validate that. If I try to put green, if I try to make this green, these are all green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The, the seven has to go here. So this is an eight or a nine. And then this only sees two. So this becomes a two, but they're on the same Ren band, which even if this was a normal right, everyday Ren band, it wouldn't work, but an extra doesn't work here because there's even less. So this could be on a normal Ren band would be eight, seven, six, five, four would be the maximum or like the, like the minimum distance we could have here. Um, but we don't even have that much leeway because one of these digits re repeats. So it's really eight, seven, six, five. So this is not green. This is gray. That means this sees three digits at least. That means this sees one, two, three, four. Somehow I already knew that. Um, that means that this is a maximum of one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're gonna be able to play the same game again, but let me just, we'll just go through it a step at a time. Maybe we won't actually, but we'll try it. Um, This is now a max of one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a maximum of six. So this cannot be seven anymore. So trying to play the same game coming from this direction. Yeah. If we try to make this green, 
then this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven. No, this is seven, so this is eight or nine. So it actually is the same game. This becomes the seven. This becomes eight or nine. This only sees two. Oh, but that doesn't matter, I guess, because this is not on the Rin Band. So this would become a two. This would be eight or nine, but I think that's still okay, actually, in this case. Right, right. So, um, Okay, hang on. You're right. Let me let me back up a little bit. There's no cage here. You're right. That that rule does not apply in the same way. Um, false. That was a falsehood. What I was just saying. Still feel like there's something to that though. Let me think about that for one second. Just in terms of what can actually end up here. But maybe we still have room on this side. But you're right. There being no cage here to, to makes this not, not as meaningful. But doesn't it still... I, sorry. It just feels like there's still something to it. But maybe it only works here. I still feel like there's something... This is at least four. Right? Because the, the minimum this could be is three. So this is going to at least need to see one more. Um, oh, it feels like there's another way to think about this. Or like that same piece of logic. But we have to come at it from the right direction. Um, Is it coming up this way? Think about this. Annoyingly, this could still be one, I think. Because if this is four, three, two, two, why are there lyrics? Um. If we do this, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. Right, so this is explicitly not seven, eight, or nine. In that case. Where's the stupid one in this box? Very annoyingly, I think the one can still be here, but it seems like it can only be here if these, if it's double one, this is four, and this is three, and this is two. So that would be four, three, two. Yeah, we talked about that. That makes this a five, six. That makes this a seven, eight, nine. And this is five, six, seven, eight, nine up here. Um, is there another version of that thing we just did? Like if we do this. Not quite, because this isn't on the line. Funny for that to be eight. It's gotta grow. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's gotta be more than this. So if it's if it's gray, it's seven at least. If it's gray, it's seven at least. And then it's seven on both ends. 
No, I think I want to think more about this one. I feel like we, we at least made a tiny bit of headway here. Um... Place our two in this row and our one in this row. But you could be a one, tragically. Hmm. I really think that could be a nine. That would be nine. This would be an eight, seven, six. Arrangement. Which means this would have to extend out. I guess that could be seven. If it's, if it's nine, it's definitely it's one. These are low, so they're gray. If it's one, one is green. Okay, can we do anything with this, friend? You are at least three. You are at least three. Six. So that would make this the six. This would be seven, eight, or nine. This would be three. This would be a number bigger than three. This would be a number bigger than three. This would be a number in range of three. It's annoying. I think this can still be nine, though, because if this is, it could be nine with this is six, and this has a. That's a little interesting, though, actually. If these are nines, then this is definitely nine. That would force that to be a nine. Hmm. This sees two already. This felt good. I just want to, it feels like we should be able to find a place to apply similar logic to that, but it requires like the right configuration of a cage with a, uh, a cage with a extend band. Put a nine here. This is eight, seven, or six. But well, maybe that's okay. If we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If these were all gray, this would be a seven, eight, nine, triple. And the nine couldn't be here. And the nine couldn't be here. But the nine could be here. So then this would become a seven, eight pair. If those were all gray, this would be a seven, eight pair. sort of hard with how much overlap there is. It feels like I've got to get a, a low digit placed somewhere in this world.
Okay, <laughs> okay, no, I love it. Okay. We're looking, we're back in row eight. Row eight. So you're saying row eight column seven. What to do with this? Is that where we're looking? So Mr. Scary Muffin claims, claims that this is a shadable cell. Do we believe Mr. Scary Muffin? I don't know. I want to. Um, why do we think that is shadable? Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Oh, the same, the exact same reason we talked about here. That this has to see more than, why do I do that? Where I see the, I see the, like we talk about something at length and then I just don't see it. It is a requirement that this cell sees more than this. It can't see this way because this would also see this. So this obviously has to grow up. I don't know why I miss very silly, obvious, extremely obvious things like that. Um, it's just a fun thing that I do, I guess. Um, that means that this has to escape, which is cool. We've got a little cul-de-sac here. It means this number is bigger than this number, right? Because this, this only can see, this has very limited vision into the world. Um, I'm just thinking about implications of this for a moment in terms of oneness, but maybe that doesn't matter. Our options for one are that this is that, that one is going to span across here, or we try to put one on this line, which forces this to be very low. I'm trying to think about it in terms of like this forcing things to be quite low, um, but I'm not sure how realistic that is. Like the most of this could possibly see, I guess, is one way we could talk about it. This C is two already. One, two, three, four, five, six. The most it could see is six. So this is two, three, four, five, six, which is a silly pencil mark. But um, I just wanted to think about that in terms of what that means for this. If we tried to put a one there, because what we've said is if we try to put a one here, that this, the, this has to be a four. If we put a one here, then this has to be a four, this has to be a three, and this has to be a two. And this is also a one. So this is like a one, two, three, four situation. Um, that would be two. If that was two, then this has to be capped, obviously, so that it can maintain its two-ness. I don't know, though. Ugh. Double ones. So for this to be two, I mean, this has to be quite low. Two, three, four, five. I guess it could still be, it couldn't be six.
is this two? I, I think if this is two, this is gray. This is a bigger number. This is a bigger number than this. Of that, I feel like we can be pretty certain. Um, so it's at least a three. What is it, just three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? That would be an example of nine, which would be silly. Well, we did that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be a seven, eight, nine triple. Um, Where you see a two, you could see as many as six. You see three, you could see as many as six. You see four. You see four. That, that's very, so frustrating, this range. We're like, we have just enough to not be useful, I feel like. Like, in terms of, um, Oh, you know what? Wait. This that, that means this couldn't be nine. Right? The only way we thought this could be nine is for, for this to be nine, this has to be um, six, seven, eight. And it can't be. So this, this is not nine. The only way this could be one is if this was four, three, two, but that actually seems like a thing that is possible in this universe. So that's not a nine. We seem to have said that nine is This is not nine. It's not nine. This is weird. I, this is probably not at all what you said to look at, but this, I, I, if I think this is right. So I think these are not nine, right? Um, well, actually, that's irrelevant, actually. Does, let's just think about nines for a second in here, even if we ignore that for a moment. this is a, I don't know if this is going to be useful at all. This um, is not nine, because that would put a nine here, and that would be bad, right? That means nine is in columns seven and nine, and nine's not in here. We've said nine isn't here, because that would require... This is crazy. Um, I hope this is right. Uh, okay, we're saying nine is here or here. It's not here because that would put a nine in the wrong place. We're saying nine is here or here because nine's definitely not up here. And we said if we had a nine here, we would have to put an eight somewhere. And we can't put an eight up here because of that seven, eight pair. And we can't put an eight here because it would reflect up here. So nine is not in there. So that means nine is up here and it's not there, but that puts a nine on this line, right? So this, this, and because it has one, two, three, four, five, but there can only be four unique digits is a nine, eight, seven, six line. So there's no fives on this line. And these are from nine, eight, seven, six. That's not a nine because of that nine. Oops.
six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a very high Ren band. Still have lots of places for nines in here. Although I did, didn't I just argue that we couldn't put nine somewhere? That there was somewhere we couldn't put. Yeah, because nine here means that this has to be eight, seven, six, and that's not possible. So that's actually not nine. So this digit, weirdly. And these two digits are the same. You've got to remember that. <clears throat> so that, <laughs> okay, cool, weird. That means I don't. Oh, I don't know if you're still there. Uh, I don't know if you're still there, Mr. Scary Muffin. This is. I feel like I'm on an insane logic tangent that I don't know if is actually true, and I'm scared that it's not. But it means that. I have six, seven, eight, and nine here, but these are the same digit. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. So this sees all of those digits. So this can't be six or seven. This can only be three, four, or five. So that means at most two, three, four, five, that means these can never be green. So these have to be gray. Is that true? That means this already sees four, so it's not two or three. That means this sees one, two, three, four, five, six, so it's not four or five. That means <laughs> okay, yes. You know, I took the, uh, I, as usual, I, I took the scenic route. Okay, row six, column eight is what you told me to look at a hundred years ago. Um, well, what if I don't want to? What if I want to look at? I feel like I didn't do everything down here that needed to be done. Okay, you're telling me I can shade this. Can I? Maybe. Three. Why am I not able to see this? Hang on. So we will see four here. We have to go somewhere. Oh, we have to see more than this, right? So. This digit always has to grow because it always has. It's the same logic we've done twice that Mr. Scary Muffin has pointed out very patiently, and I keep missing. But this digit has to see more than this digit, uh, so it has to grow. I, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with that today, but it's a, it's a, it's a thing that we have to consider. Now I'm now I'm nervous. I've missed that in other places. Okay, so um, that was exciting. This can't be nine, can it? If this was nine, then these digits would have to be eight, seven, six, and that's not available to us. I think you're not nine. <laughs> Um, so I'm not really convinced about the, the one situation. This feels like we, we learned something important up here. 
six, seven, eight, nine. This digit and this digit and this digit all see six, seven, eight, nine, right? And these digits have to be, whatever that digit is, is here or here. But these digits all see six, seven, eight, nine. Those are all one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if that really helps me with anything. It does put a high digit on this line, but that's helpful, right? So um, this, well, no, it doesn't. It almost does. One, two, three, four, but it doesn't quite. It almost does. It almost puts a high digit on that line, but we're not quite there yet. Let's do that. That is a pretty high digit. This is not all that high, but it still could go to six. This will always be bigger than this. This will always be bigger than this. This will always be bigger than whichever friend it has. Am I missing something super obvious down here now? What, what am I missing now? Um, oh, right, green's gotta grow. That's an important that's an important thing to talk about. Green's gotta go somewhere. So this is a two. Oh wait, this just is a two. Good grief. Okay, so this is very low. So it is at, at most one, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, but there's only four unique digits. So at most it's two, three, four, five. So these cannot be more than five. These are not six, seven, or eight, right? Depending on what happens with the one. Because this could be two, like two, four, five flanked by threes, or two, three, four flanked by five, something like that. But it could also still be ones with two, three, four. Four, I think. Two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. Hmm. This can only see four or five, so this can't go very far. One, two, three, four, five. So this can never be gray, right? If I tried to make this gray, we'd have a problem. In fact, I think we have an even bigger problem that I'll mention in one moment. But if this, so this I think has to be green, right? Because if this is gray, there's six here and that's mad. If I try to make this gray, then I have one, two, three, four, five. This sees five, this would have to be six. So this is also green, I think which means this is gray. I don't know what this person's doing. This two, two, three, four, five. So these digits are one, three, four, five, right? That's all they could be because they have to be in range of the two. Those are one, three, four, five. Still some possibility. I'm just trying to decide how high or low this is. This is low-ish. That's very good. It could be extremely low. This is extremely high. That's great news. That's obviously extremely high. Um, I 
What is this person all about? Just thinking about if it would be possible. I think it's not. Although I don't know why I decided already that it couldn't be. Like, why didn't I say this could be a one? Okay, well, obviously that can't be a one. Sorry, of course. Um, I was trying to decide if, I could, if this could be very low. But if the two was here, I think it still could be pretty low. You know, we're thinking about twos in the world now. Feels almost worthwhile. Maybe not fully. Um, yeah, just think about what's what's gonna happen here. Um, like if we don't have the one here, we try to put the one here. These have to be pretty low. make this the one and this the one then the one is over here and then a one ends up here but it can't be there hmm. okay sorry i'm gonna step away again i'll be right back Sorry about that. So I'm trying to stay. I've been like feeling like right on the edge of sinus infection. So I'm trying to like stay hydrated. And that just means I pee all the time. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what's going on? We got that two. This digit. What is this digit? It's at least a three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's three, four, five, or six. Three, four, five, or six. However, it's definitely not three. Because this this is at least one, two, three, four, right? At least. And whatever digit is here is going to be here. So this is not three or four. So this sees at least five or six. So it's one, two, three or five at least. That means this is vaguely high. It's middle-ish, but this also, is not two, three, or four, but could be, one. well, now it can't be one, right? Because this one, two, three, four, five, so with five unique digits, um, sorry, one, two, three, four, five is four unique digits. So even if it was a five, it'd be five, four, three, two. So this can't be one, right? I put one here and I have one, two, three, four and a repeat, I can't hit five. So one isn't here. So one is here or here, which is exciting, maybe. Means one is not on this line. And one's not down here. Maybe that's not exciting. Mr. Scary Mountain approves. Says it's right. Um, let's 
six, five, okay. Well, one is here or here, but that doesn't feel as exciting as I'd hoped it would be, frankly. Oh, but wait, oh gosh, we, okay, sorry. There's more, there's more to think about here because this, we've just said repeatedly, this is at a minimum one, two, three, four, right? No matter what, this is gonna have a four on it. And this digit will see everything. It's gonna see every single, I'm sorry. It's, oh my gosh, good grief. Okay. Um, this can't be a four. One, two, three, four at a minimum. This is not a four. It's not a four. This sees at least five, right? One, two, three, four, five. This now sees one, two, three, four, five, six. This is not five. I thought we were going to learn more about the one, but it does mean this is a five or six, right? That's worth that's worth considering. That is just going to end up down here. Okay, I've, I've this is a bad day. I have to apologize. I stand up to pee, but then I don't jump up and down enough to tell my watch that I'm standing up and down. I'm trying to close my rings. It's not a crime to close your rings. I'll be right back. So I'm caught in this cruel cycle where I stand up, you know, like it's, oh, it's time to, you know, close my rings. I got to stand up. But then it's like, well, as long as I'm up, I should get something to drink to hydrate. But then I have to pee. So then I stand up, but apparently peeing is not enough to close. It's a, it's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle. So I, I got another drink. Okay. So <clears throat> that was, I feel like we were doing some work. We're doing work, right? Um, the nine, this nine, or this nine, would force a seven, eight pair one way or the other. This always contains a three. How did we get a five, six pair here? How did that happen? So this is not six. Well, it's he's seven anyway, so it's not six. This could never be five. never be five. So that is three or four, just four or five. So a five, six pair here. You're not a five. I almost thought I broke the puzzle for a second. Ooh, one, three, four. That means you're not a five. Come on, buddy. This is either, this is either double one with two, three, four, double three with two, four, five, or double four with two, 
5-3. No, no, no. We, we know this. We have a 5-6 pair here. This is 4. This is 3. So we have 2-3-4 here. So this is double 1. And these are high digits. This is a high, this is a high digit <coughs> uh, extendment. You are not three or four. You are five or six, which we guess we already knew. One, two, three, four, five. We already knew that. Um, well, this is four, this is just green. So this is six. This is at least seven. So we have seven, eight, nines. Good or one. Seven, eight, nine. This is going to be high ish. <clears throat> Push the one. I feel like we had lots of thoughts and opinions about where ones go in this puzzle, and I forgot all of them. Really, really, really talked about it a lot. That's annoying. So this is high ish. One, two, three, four, five. Four unique digits, so seven, six, five, four. So these couldn't be lower than four. <clears throat> One goes over here somewhere. never see five. Here's three or four, so this is not a five. <clears throat> right, six, seven, eight, nine situation. Four, five, six. You see six. Seven, eight, nine. I gotta remember that. Um, well, cool. We talk so much about where ones go. I just don't remember anything we said. Okay, I see. I see tomatoes. <clears throat> I'm obviously not thinking about something. Um. Oh yeah, like this. Sure. The the basic principles of uh, yin yangs is don't. Don't do that. Three or four. A big number. Also a big number. So you're big numbers. What do we know about this? You know, it can't go lower than four. Oops. Uh-oh. Row seven, column eight. Why it can't be seven? Well... Why this couldn't be a seven? I don't know. 
remember. It's possible I just made a mistake. Maybe it can be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So superficially, it definitely could be a seven. Um, why did I say that? Was it true or was it just me making bad pencil marks? That would mean that we could do this. To be double seven, that would put an eight or a nine on the rim band. It's very possible that was just a bad pencil mark. And if it was, I appreciate you catching that. There's. It's also possible that I had a reason that I said that. Oh, oh. Shoot, no. Well, that makes me worried that I made a deeper mistake when I when I did the 789 triple, because that would be wrong then. Because that would mean that that is not a 789 triple. So maybe that really was just a bad pencil mark. Why did I do that? No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. It was probably me doing something like a terrible, terrible mistake. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, was there a reason I said that couldn't be seven? Or was that just a silly mistake? The problem, the thing I'm worried about, if it's a silly mistake, that's fine. I make silly mistakes all the time. But, um, I think I made some conclusions based on that. Um, when I saw that as a, a five, six pair, which it shouldn't be if that could be a seven. But I don't, I don't remember now if there was a reason, and I'm not seeing it. It really seems like it was probably very something silly, like me just counting those and not counting that. Unless there was some other pressure that made me think that. But I don't see, if there was, I don't see what it was now. But that's okay. Excuse me. It still could not be two, three, four, five, right? That was. We know that this is either one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. So it's definitely not three or four. So it is possible that there was a seven there. I'm just trying to think of what conclusions I came to because of that. That could not be a four because of the one, two, three, four situation. Five, six, seven. Thank you for catching that. I, I really, I really don't know that there was a meaningful reason for me to say that. Um, seems like the kind of silly thing I would do. Does mean we had a minimum of five though. One, two, three. So these were green. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five. This is gray. That's not gray. It's, not, it's a different color. It's a different color than gray. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This doesn't see six. So that's seven, eight, nine. We did arrive at that honestly. That was an honest 789. Um but I do think that yeah, that that could have been catastrophic if I just made that up and then thought that really was a 5-6 pair. Seems like a thing I would do. Um This does not see, oh, wait. This could never see five. Right? This just is a four. Which 
means this is gray. And these are not force. And that there's no force here. One. There's always a three here, but it's either one, two, four. One, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. Yeah, but I can't take the, I'm not sure about the five, but the, <clears throat> what is still true that the one isn't here? That's still a true statement, right? Because that's still too far away. One, two, three, four, five, four unique digits, five, four, three, two. So this is still not a one. So it is still true to say the one is up here. Um, Other high digits. It's not a four up there. It's important. <clears throat> four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is not five. This four does seem good grief. What have I done? Oh my gosh! Now I'm now I've fallen now I've fallen apart. It already did see four, and I remember we talked about that before. Where this is definitely green. Good grief. Yes. Now I'm falling apart. I've gone to the bathroom one too many times. Okay, sorry about that. Good catch. Okay, yes, we've talked we talked about that. We've talked about this. Um excuse me. What an embarrassment. <clears throat> okay, so we said, right, but that is a three. That does see it's four. This sees that is not a three, which means that is not a three. So this is one or five with the two, three, four. Um that is still not a one. I still believe that in my heart. That is not a three. That's not a one. Or one of these, the one is here or here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This just is a six. It's not a six. It needs to see more than that though. So that's also not a five. That's a seven, eight, nine. These are the same digits, it's not a pair. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is not a five. If if we make this gray, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we make this gray, then it is a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. The six goes here, so that becomes a seven, eight, nine triple. The nine is in one of those. And maybe that's okay. This never sees five. That six, seven, eight, nine is seen. Excuse me. So that's one or five there. Either way, the one is up here. One is not there. I thought about this a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, 
I don't quite remember how we arrived at these nine pencil marks. Um, how did we arrive at these nine pencil marks? Remember all the magic we did with the nines? And there's definitely a nine here. There's definitely a nine here. Um, possibly nine here if these are s like sixes and there's a seven, eight pair. The nine in here, though, I guess is correct. Hmm. It's not quite useful, but it's almost useful. I know there's not a one on here. It's weirdly possible that a two sneaks up here. Maybe even likely. I don't know. Um, This sees at least six gray cells, right? So even if these were gray, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Aren't these forced to be gray? Because where else is this gonna see six gray cells? One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that, does that seem reasonable? I think that seems reasonable. Um, I'm so curious about this, this one. <clears throat> oh man. This is a long stream. I've been streaming for like four and a half hours. I shouldn't have started this puzzle. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have. I couldn't resist it. Um, this digit was here or here. Which is interesting. Because if it lived here, it would force this to be pretty high. Uh, that's kind of, um, I don't know if that actually does anything, but let's just think about that for one second. This digit and this digit, see all of these, they see those. So that digit lives either here or here. Um, if this digit lived here, it's a pretty high digit. So it's gonna like push things up a bit. Um, and maybe that's okay. Couldn't be a nine on it. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. It would just be a very high digit. That would make this a pretty low digit. I feel like I've barely made any progress in this puzzle. I mean, it's been a, 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 an extreme battle, but just like how empty the grid is, is a little... And now I'm like, I definitely making more mistakes now getting tired i don't know um okay so terrier says i made progress how's it going buddy um one two three four five six seven thinking a little bit about some of these so we said this needed to see at least six right so we did one two three four five six um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is possible for that to be a nine. One of these has to be a nine. It is a requirement. Definitely no nine on here. Nine is down here. Can you be a nine? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. This person. I don't really know where the eight is. Well, what's left to place in here, really, um, in terms of what could go here? Like one, two, three, and four are not available. So five, six, seven, eight, nine here. Right, we said one can't be on here. Two, three, four aren't available. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that there has to be, mm, it's close. I'm trying to think about like tension with fives and, and whether, whether I actually can make these fives. Because I would need four unique digits that are on the high side of things so that would mean that that line had to be six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> Sorry, just to like carry through that logic a little bit. If I tried to make this, both of these, if I try to make these two fives, then this line, um, this is a six or a seven. This can only be six, seven, eight or nine. A way to think about this is if I try to make these both fives, right? They will see the entirety of this line. And this line has four unique digits because there's five cells, right? So it's either one, two, three, four, um, which it can't be, or it's six, seven, eight, nine, if we're saying there's not a five on it. So I'm just thinking about, can this line be six, seven, eight, nine? Is that a reasonable thing. Um, we'd have six or seven on the end. Nine could be here or here. Maybe that's not actually that hard. Maybe it's even likely. But this would be six, seven, eight, nine. And then six or seven would be repeated on the end. Actually, that's another thing to think about with this as well, because this is another sequence. Oh, well, we have the same problem here, right? This is definitely a unique four digit sequence. The extend band goes here. So this is definitely a unique four digit, se four -digit sequence. Um, if we try to put, if we, if we use the five here, that means this is either one, two, three, four, or it is six, seven, eight, nine. Seems possible for there to be a nine on there. Oh, okay. Well, this is, <clears throat> I'm sure there's an easier way to see this. I'm just going to talk through this because I'm not, I'm losing my confidence. So this is an extend band, but we can kind of ignore this one because we know it repeats here. So this is basically a four digit ran band. This is a sequence of four digits. If we put a five here, there's not a five on this ran band. So it either has to be one, two, three, four, um, or it has to be six, seven, eight, nine, right? 
can it be one, two, three, four? The answer is no, because we know the one in this box is up here. So this is not one, two, three, four in that situation. So can it be six, seven, eight, nine? Annoyingly, I think it just barely can be, shoot, because if this is a five, and this is a seven, and this is a six, then this could be a six, and this could be a six. No, it can't actually. No, 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 it actually can't. It actually can't. So if this is a five, this is either one, two, three, four, or it's six, seven, eight, nine. It can't be one, two, three, four, because we know the one in this box is up here, right? So it's definitely not one, two, three, four. So then the question is, is it six, seven, eight, nine? And the answer is no, because if we, we've we placed a five here, so there's a six or a seven here. So I don't think this can ever be a five. I, I feel very hesitant to say that for certain, but this can't be one, two, three, four, because the one is up here and it can't be six, seven, eight, nine, because we'd have six, seven and five views and this would be nothing. So I think these are ones. That seems to mean something. That does put a one here. What does that actually mean for my life? What does that mean? I feel like the other option would have been better. <laughs> the, 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 like it would have been more restricted to be like, oh, that is a five. And now we have all these restrictions. But um, we placed a one in here. We do have this one, two, three, four party going on. don't feel like we actually did anything to any of our like having some insight about this would be helpful like, there's a two in here somewhere and it's not here or here because those well that's a little slightly interesting, I guess. These see at least four. And one of them could be four, maybe, but then the other one would have to be six, because we'd have to see more than this one. So one of these is like four, six-ish. Oh my gosh, I cannot do this puzzle my whole entire life. Um. <clears throat> oh, especially worried that I'm going to make a mistake now just because I've been, been slipping up. It's nothing lower than a four. There or there. What is this going to be? Not seven, eight, or nine. So it just is not one, seven, eight, or nine. That, that's an exciting statement. This can't be nine. Wait a second. Okay, a few things. No one's up here. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This cannot be nine. So that means nine is only here or here. Right? It means nine is not here. So nine is here or here. So that means nine is here. It's not there or there. So that is a nine. which is exciting. Um, that means, <clears throat> what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the most this could see. So for this to see nine, it would really have to extend out. One, two, three, four, oops. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are both gray. Oh, weird looking yin yang. I really worried I made, made a mistake. Um, so this sees at least four. not super exciting. These are not super high digits. They're not seven, eight, or nine. They see some very high digits already. Tomato. Okay, I saw a tomato. Am I missing something? In, is that a box? Box eight tomato. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That can't be a nine. That's exciting. Just double check that. So this is green. It's boxed in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. Good tomato. Very helpful tomato. So that is not a nine. Draclan, how's it going, buddy? Draclan, I've missed you. Where have you been all my life? Um, okay, if we say that's not a nine, does that actually mean this is a nine? Why did I rule out every other... Okay, because we said these... Somehow we said these were nines. Do I trust my pencil marks at this point? I really don't. But if that's not a nine and we trust the pencil marks, then this is a nine. Which means that's a nine. I'm I'm very loath to trust the pencil marks at this point. What cu wait, what cubes? We found cubes? A tomato. Um, <clears throat> right. Sorry, I got. To, I've just fallen apart. Um, we have pushed the nine down here. It can't be here. Nine is not six usually, so that is a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be eight, nine, and green. I'm going to be so sad when I find that I've broken the puzzle in some way. It's really going to break my heart. We need to cap this off. We also need actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to cap this one off too, right? No, not yet. We don't know that for sure yet. Um, look at all the color. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is this digit? Does anyone know? It's got to get out of here, right? We have to escape this, this tube. 
So it's at least a four. How do we escape this tube? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that possible? It's at least four, but no more than seven. Four, five, six, seven, but it's not six. So what does that mean in terms of this sequence? It doesn't have a nine on it. It doesn't have a one on it. So there's four unique digits and nine and one are not in play, right? Nine and one are not available here. This is four unique digits. So it's either, it could be as low as two, three, four, five, or as high as eight, seven, six, five. But that means there's always a five here. That means there's no five here. And that means there's no five here. And if there's no five here, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, but actually seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, um, Mr. Scary Muffin saved my life because actually this is a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven. This is a seven. These are not sevens. This appears to be an eight. This appears to be a five, six. Mr. Scary Muffin, what would I have done without you? I would have been so sad if I worked on that for another half hour before I inevitably ran into a total impasse. Um, excuse me. Um, what else could be on this? Because I'm a nine. Mr. Scary Muffin's my hero. Um, it's okay. I didn't have to start totally from scratch, which is a thing I do sometimes. Um, now what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do you think of the five, six pair there? That's a little exciting. What else goes on this line? It's not a five. What, what did we say the lowest that could go on this line is? We said it could go down to a four. I'm sorry, I see the tomatoes. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm uh, strategically ignoring them for just a second. Just why I, I kind of recalibrate a little bit. Um, well, it's certainly not a one, and it's certainly not a two. I think it's actually not a three either, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, it's four unique digits, so it's seven, six, five, four, so it's not a three. So the three is over here as well. So one and three are here. This could be an eight, though. Maybe this is not the best thing to think about. Uh, you really mustn't, darling. I seven, six, five, four. It seems like this digit has to end up over here. Maybe that's wrong. Okay, sorry, wait. This this is trapped. Look at this. This gray is trapped. The gray has to escape. This is just four. It is a, just is a four. So we know there's a five and a six on here because we have to get to seven, five, six. And so this is that digit. So this is one a one, three, eight. Uh-oh, I saw a tomato. Did I make a mistake? What did I do? What have I done now? Was that not right? I think that's right. Isn't this right? Did I make a, a forbidden shape? This is forbidden. This is forbidden. Am I making mistakes or are you just being impatient? Okay, I see. It's fine. It's fine. I understand the impatience. Um, I'm just a little terrified of, of uh, grave missteps at this point. <clears throat> uh, okay, so don't we know some things now? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a six. 
That's probably what you're throwing tomatoes about. Probably probably one of the many things you were throwing tomatoes at. Um, that seven transposes up there. That's not a five. Um, that removes seven from contention here. Still a nine in there. Uh huh. This now sees one, two, three, four. Or it's going to see six. So this is going to be four or six. Four, three, two, one, annoyingly. So the range on that, not, <clears throat> excuse me, not terribly useful. Um, there's an eight up here. There's an eight up here. Oops. Um, but couldn't it be eight, seven, six, five? No, if there was an eight on this line, there would have to be a seven. And there's a seven over here. So this is the eight. That's not the eight. So we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these go up here. So we got all kinds of exciting things going on down here. Um, we are missing what? Twos and fives, sevens. It's not a seven. Oops. It's a two five pair, so we get the seven over here. Um, and up in here, we need what? This is just a digit that is known as a three. So there is a three on this line. We also know that this is four, five, and another digit known as two. Two, four, five. This is just a three. That's not a three. So this is a two, three, four, five extend band. And also, what else? Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five here as well, which puts two, three, four, five here as well. That's not a three, so that's not a three. <clears throat> Two and a six would have problems with each other, but I'm not sure that matters right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to cap this off. You need a hat. Gray hat. No checkerboards. Um this sees three and could only see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as this is three, four, five, six, but it can't be a four. In fact, one, two, three, four can't be five because if it's five, it doesn't become a six. So it's actually not a five. So that's only a three or a six, and it can't be a three because there's a three there. So that's a six, and that's a six. Um, that is a four, and it sees. It's good that that's a four because it is a four. It would be bad if that four was not a four. Um, what do we know about this person? If anything, this is either like a five and a seven or a seven and an eight or a four and a five. Well, it's not four and a five. So this is not four, five, six, right? Because there's a four here. It's not four, five, six. So it's five, six, seven at least, and the seven's not there. So that's the seven, which checks out. There would be a seven here. And then this is either five or eight. Does that seem true? Maybe. Um, okay, cool. This is a one. I think. Those aren't ones. There's no one in there. Um, this is a two, a five. What are we missing here? This is a four. Right? No fours. No fours. You're a four. I mean, you're a four. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So these are green. 
right? You're not a four. Um, this now sees one, one, two, three, four, five, six. This now sees four, so it gets a hat. I don't want to think about that four yet. Um, this is pretty restricted. This is just two, three, five. Right? That's all that can go in here. So that's the five, the two, places this two, places this three. Um, that gets rid of twos up here, which is great. So now we have three, four, five, triple here. You're not three. This, it's still not resolved. This can't be green. If this was green, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. There's probably another way. I'm sure there's an easier way to see that, but anyway, it's gray. Um, it sees one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is gray. So this is green. Um, that means this is a three. That means that is a four or five pair. Um, cool. It does see four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that was exciting. This. Oh, that's also true. Also true, Terrier Darts, that this was restricted. I'm bad at seeing that. I, I like going back and finding. Yeah, I got to go clean up after myself, you know, Let's make a mess of things. Um, OK, what what do we know about this? No, there's not a one on it. So it's four unique digits doesn't have a one. One, two, three, four, five. So two, three, four, five. So there's definitely a five on it. I don't know if I really care about that. These digits are three, five, and eight, right? There's definitely not an eight here, not just because of that, but it's just not, it's just not an eight here. Ooh, tomato darts burn. Is that a burn? It might not be a burn. Forgive me for calling that a burn. Maybe it wasn't. This is a gentle uh, prod. This is a one, six, eight. That's no, not a six. There is a six up here. Does anyone care about that? No, not a single person. No one in the entire world. Um, we know it's not a one though, because if there was a one, then there would be another high digit on this Ren Ban that was too high. Like you couldn't have a one and a six. There's only three unique digits on this. It could be one, two, three, but then the other one's bad. So there's no one here. So that's the one. So there's no one here. That's a two, apparently. Um, six, eight means it is required that there's a seven on here, right? I'm gonna fill in the gap. So that's the seven. This is also 6, 8. So that's the 8. That's the 8. That's the 6. There's no 8s here. That seems to mean that you're an 8. That's a 6, 9 pair and a 4, 5 pair, leaving a 1. Um, no, I realize we got to clean up coloring all over the place. <clears throat> this is sort of an interesting configuration. At any rate, one of these is a 3. So one of these is already going to see its full complement. That is a four. That three five pair means this is an eight. That means we're just missing a five here, I think. So we get the four here. So we have a two five pair, but that seems not broken. That four needs a hat. Hopefully we have not isolated gray. This four only sees three, so it needs to grow, but then it needs a hat, and then we need to prevent a two by two, and then we need to connect this gray to the world. This digit sees one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, oh no, what did I do? I see what I did, sorry. 
I said prevents a two by two and then I did it wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get such good engagement when I make er errors. I wish I could pretend that I did that on purpose. It's my favorite thing to do where I say one thing and then do the exact opposite wrong thing. It's kind of a hobby. Um, I wish I could pretend that it was calculated, but it was not. It was not calculated. Um, it is a requirement that there's a seven on this line. Right? There has to be a seven on here. It's not here or here because that would reflect. It's not here. It's not here. So this just is a seven, I think. We get this seven, eight pair untangled. We get a one, three pair, which gives us this eight untangled. It seems to be a one, two pair. Apparently. This sees it's, yeah, okay, you're all happy. Happy. So the only way for this eight to be happy is that this goes all the way, right? So this is gray. Um, so I don't quite, I just really know where that's gonna connect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven means this is already done. Um, it means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that this is, this has to be bigger than this. So this is a nine which means it has to extend down. So that's a six. Uh, maybe that place is nine there. We can't have a checkerboard. Our grays have to m marry each other. Which way do the grays get married? This is a three, so this is a five. So the grays get married this way. And the grays are married, which is exciting. One, two, three, four, five. So hopefully that is a valid yin yang, I hope. Is it valid? Please say it's valid, please. <clears throat> um, we need thousands of digits. What are you? What's one, two, or three. Um, I guess we could think about these remaining dots since we just know what they are. That's a two, that's a three, that is just a one, a two, a one, a three, a one. Is that all of our, so we have our entire yin yang. We have, I think all of our sight lines we have all of our Rin bands except for one disambiguation, but they're basically done. So I think, tragically, we had to do Sudoku. That's not quite true, actually. This Rin band still needs work. So we can we can continue to ignore Sudoku a little longer, which is great news. So this is a four or a five. So this is a four or a five, and it can only be a four. So that's a four, and that's a four. Um, it means we need a six here or here. So that's got to be there and we need a five somewhere so it's going to be there uh we need a two and a six here so that's the six and that's the two okay so that really was the i over i was premature in my celebration of completing the extend bands uh, we got the two we got the five and we get a two nope there's already a two right there uh, we get a five. How about, does a five sound better? How about a five and a three? Oh my gosh. Mr. Scary Muffin, I am so grateful for, to you for catching that error at that time because that is definitely a thing where I, I feel like I would have gone so far ahead that I wouldn't have even known and I would have just had to start over. I would have had to just completely start the puzzle over from scratch, which I would have done and would have been sad about. So you are the hero of the day for catching my uh, absurdly simple pencil mark error. I appreciate it. Terrier, glad to, glad to have you around. Did Dracula just come in and talk about cubes and then disappear? Is it, it's a mysterious person. Um, okay, I did not mean to stream for five hours today. It was not my intention. It really, it wasn't, but I love, I love these Yin Yang Sightline puzzles. They're so good. Um, 
This is hard. Row eight, followed by row nine. I'm gonna say this was hard. I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say this was very hard. I, normally I say it's average just because to like because I don't want to skew it. Yeah, the dra the Dracula bot is very strange. Um, it was very nice. That was hard. It was a hard puzzle. I don't ever want to skew things though. Harder just because they're hard for me, you know. So I'll just put that it was hard. Okay. I need to take a break. My throat kind of hurts. Again, thank you so much once again for your, everyone being lovely and patient, which is great. Um, Mr. Scray Muffin, Terrier Darts, thanks for the coaching and guidance. Thanks for catching that terrible error. Um, there were no Y wings, which I can't spot, so I'm not going to say it was uh, terribly hard. And not that Y wings are hard. I just am incapable of spotting them. So that's my metric for very hard is if it's very hard for me personally, only me, because I'm the only one that matters when it comes to the, the ratings on Logic Masters are for me and me alone. Um, Mr. Scary Muffin, I hope you have a great stream later on. I'm going to maybe go lay on the ground. I did not mean to stream for five hours. It really was not my intention. Um, actually, okay, wait, let me follow you right this minute. Let me do that. Do this. How do I do it? Follow. Can I push other things? I know there's other buttons. Okay, done. Followed. Okay, um, thanks so much. Really enjoyed those puzzles. So good. Blob is the best. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Thank you.